Good morning to all. Uh, welcome to this fear free exam program for class 10 students and this year for this academic year very soon next in next few days you are going to face the final exams. So, in order to give some good uh, a, a good kind of uh, in support from SCRT with the experts with this program is planned and uh, I hope all the students of class 10 those who are appearing for class 10 exam already prepared with all your uh, year long preparation is over. Now, it is time to make your effort to take in a right direction and you have very few days left, but these during these few days how to get rid of your stress, your fear these all things we will discuss today and uh, dear children you remember this, uh, this class 10 exams. So, it is going to be uh, it is not going to be a big challenge for you all. So, the way you prepared for year long and the support given by your teachers the definitely this all will help you to get good marks and good scores good GPS in your final exams and uh, exclusively if you speak about English already the previous results and uh, last year or before last year it is clearly visible that many of our students are performing excellently and uh, this is also it going to be the same I hope. Uh, and uh, I, I and I congratulate all the teachers those who are effortlessly year long they are working with the students and they are giving excellent support to the students and they, they are providing all needy support needy input to the children to, uh, to clear the final exams. And definitely your children will uh, uh, visualize your expectations and uh, the uh, this year exclusively if you speak about this year it remains same. So, the way it was conducted for the last year same no, there are no changes in the question paper and all and uh, so hope this program uh, this panel support from TSAT definitely will help will support and uh, will clear all your doubts and now I request all the teachers and uh, students also please uh, make a note of all your doubts issues if you have any particular and you can write them beforehand. And at the end of this program we will uh, at the last one hour we will have one phone in program and you can ask specific doubts about your exams and about your whatever uh, area related to English you can uh, ask your queries and our experts will support you in that direction. And uh, now in the next coming 3 years and our experts are with us they will help us they will support you uh, in, in each area how to work on it and how to make ensure that you should score good marks in that and an inquote intent chepe dhanti kada telugu medium background unna pillu kuda unnaru. So, English exam is no more a fear now idhe ittu pasle e bayanga adhi pudu and kada already our question paper is like that and entire year your process is like that. So, kabbati make English perkshan is bayanga avo tledu etla agu andar pasa avo bhoottu unnaru. So, ikkada namme idhe intent e ever ethe baga jadogal uttu unnaru manche rasu unnaru they need to score more and more better. So, inka manchi GPA rodan ke in cheyali and those who are struggling really inka koncha me nene chelek pottu nanu if you are still feeling that you are struggling with your performance nene baag jelek pottu nanu baag raay lek pottu nanu baag markul raay lek pottu nanu baag markul raay lek pottu nanu baag raay lek pottu nanu baipadae waal kuda elaga compulsory ga minimum parks to kaa kundna manchi markul tela pass avoj. E rendi vishyal pae na man expert support chas taru. So, ever ite fail avutu naru me venika padi pottu nanu maak markul takko sunu nene baipadae waal koda support me dharu tu nanu but the HSE you please stick to this program just so and and you get experts chala and experience to go on now experts on aru that the that the sound channel in chi teacher like trainings you wouldn't do a rather the pustaka lu develop chit and wara material develop chit and it land what lo chala what lo involve in a manchi expert teacher panelist luna madagara. So, make use of them. So, I hope teachers will continue the support and before we going to the sessions I would like to introduce panelist here. Uh, first uh, extreme left is Dr. P. Jani Redigaru, uh, sir is uh, coordinator for Telangana textbooks from class 1 to 10 and he is also having vast experience and he is supporting the students and teachers for the past 10, 12 years continuously with orientations, trainings in the and also is contributing to the material and uh, curricular uh, academic uh, material development also. And uh, my left is uh, Mr. Raguram, uh, he is a practicing teacher and is also one of the state resource group member 
is into this uh, English uh, material development and uh, textbook development and uh, uh, train uh, teacher training module development and it will involve in Nauru and uh, he definitely his support will help our students today. And uh, left next to her next to Ms. Raghuram is uh, Lata Madhavi Garu. She is also one of the textbook writer, state resource group member and uh, definitely uh, our support also will useful to our uh, students. Uh, dear children, now uh, in this context, the program itself says about that it is fear free exams. So, already if you I, I do not think that you are with fear, still if you have any kind of that kind of thinking, we can how to make them how to keep your fear away from your exams and how to get good success in English exam, not only in English exam overall how to get good scores in your class 10 preparation. So, about this I request uh, Dr. P. Jani Reddy Garu and the sir is having good experience in this area. So, I, I, I request him sir please uh, uh, give some support to our students those who are facing now public examinations of class 10 exclusion in English. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning all of you dear children and uh, teachers and also parents who are watching this program and I would like to give a overall aspects of uh, the examination especially with, uh, with regard to our English question paper and the purpose and the objective of this question paper and what is the philosophy behind the designing of this question paper and what are the other main aspects the students, the teachers and even the parents should remember while helping the students in appearing the examinations. Actually, we started this uh, English paper in 2015 March. I think you are the sixth batch of the students who are appearing for this examination. So, I hope by this time your teachers might have well equipped with all the aspects of the question paper and they might have helped you in attempting the question paper by giving proper feedback and support. And I hope this question paper is totally different from the other subjects. Now, the English question paper is a very uh, student friendly question paper compared to other papers. If you look at the, the results in the English examination, so most of the 99 nearly 100 percent students so get through the examinations. Earlier the story, the scenario was so different 20, 30 years ago. 30, 40 percent and 50 percent of students used to fail in the examination because of the English fear most of the students like your parents and your teachers, some of them even those who are not on the scene might have dropped from the system due to the fear of the examination and uh, unable to get through the examination. Now, the system has totally changed. Now, English is considered as a global language. Now, you are very lucky to have a lot of exposure to English compared to other generations. That is why we made the question paper so student friendly and it is totally unlike the other subjects, it is not a content subject. First of all, uh, I want to stress upon, you must see that it is not like a science, social and mathematics. It is just a language, language is just to express your views and understand and express. So, that is the main purpose of this examination. Even if you look at the, the entire paper, so we are, you have to focus on three areas main reading comprehension, vocabulary and grammar and creative expression that is writing discourses. If you look at these, all these are totally beyond the textbook. Even without attempting the textbook, even a student of some English background, some knowledge who are able to understand, read and understand the text and able to write few sentences, definitely they would get the A plus grade. So, I assure you. So, that is the nature of the paper. That is why most of the students who are good at language, they never worry about this attempting the paper and I hope most of them will definitely get the A plus grades. Whereas, the problem with the students who are unable to read and understand, so that is the some issues. So, for that they need not to worry. So, they have to understand the entire scenario and before the attempting the question paper, they should read the questions carefully. They have to understand the question, that is more important. 
is if they unable to understand the question, they unable to write the answers properly. And we also expect every student should write the answers to the questions in the under the reading comprehension, even under the discourse writing should divergently. So, they have to write on their own with their own ideas that is more important. But what is happening most of the time they are the students and the teachers some in some cases few cases teacher teachers also dictating the answers that should not be the right way. The student always try to understand the question and present their own views so that definitely they will get the good marks. And third next thing is vocabulary and grammar. If you look at the vocabulary and grammar section, so it is not based on the only class 10. It is based on the entire the English textbooks from class 6 to 10. So, if the students prepare the vocabulary grammar items given in the textbook from class 6 to 10th, definitely I hope they will get good marks. And second thing is this is not a one time activity. It is not just for preparation of the examination, it should happen regularly. They have to practice these things regularly in the classroom. So, teachers should also guide them properly. I am just suggesting for not this batch, for even you, you can help your siblings, younger siblings and your friends. So, about the preparation of the examination and also how to gain the proficiency in language. So, the entire purpose of this examination is not just getting through the examination. So, the purpose is to make use of the language effectively in your day to day life that is the main purpose. So, pass marks it is not a difficult everybody will get the pass marks, but there is a criticism in our uh, men, other colleagues also other subject teachers also saying that uh, the English is very easy. They made very easy to get through the examinations, but I request all the teachers to concentrate helping the children in gaining the proficiency of the language. So, that is more important. Uh, completion of the syllabus and uh, appearing the examination is not the sole aim of the English language teaching and learning. The main purpose is to make use of the language effectively in our day to day life. So, you know that in a global situation now we need lot of skills. So, language effective communication in English is one of the skills so that you can get good opportunities. So, from the school days the teachers and the students should involve in a different uh, context where they can use the language effectively. And finally, see the discourses. This is one of the uh, major thrust area in our question paper. Most of the time what is happening? The students are just uh, taking the examples given in the textbook, some of the ideas they are putting them in here continuously. That is not the matter. So, you have to read and understand the discourse. Whenever you, you want to attempt the discourse, you should have three, four aspects. One is you should have a content knowledge in that. You should have some ideas related to, so what exactly they asked. You should have some general knowledge, general information regarding to the context. Second thing is you should know the format properly. Third is you should in a position to write meaningful sentences. So, these three are more important and it would not be happen in one day. It needs continuous preparation and also we suggested collaborative preparation. The students and teachers should work together, the students work with other peers and attempt these discourses and also students should get the feedback whatever you have written you must get the feedback from the teacher and try to improve upon. And finally, so I would like to give few points related to our teaching community. So, English examination is becoming a very fear free compared to other examination, but it does not mean that you need to take some rest and all these things. You have to work continuously. So, you have to procure the authentic material and make use in the classrooms. So, you also always help the children in acquiring the language through different context. And oral context is also one of the important aspect. Most of the time we neglect that the oral aspects. The classroom situation is the uh, important 
context where the teachers can give support to the students so that this knowledge will help them in writing the examinations also. So, the teacher should gather the different material and provide the opportunity for the children to clear all the, their doubts and give the feedback. And another thing what I want to stress upon here, uh, the recently see there are market forces uh, coming with different uh, test papers and some other model papers. So, I request all the teachers and the student community not to go through these papers. These are the waste of time. So, you have to create your own context, you have to create the day to day context and you have to come out of that with the, with the different forms of the language that is my discourses. It may be letter or it may be conversation, it may be essay. So, something like that you have to come up, but you should not go to the ready made material and uh, practice it. So, it should happen authentically, it should happen in a context and also the feedback. So, keeping in view of all these things, now English question paper made easy, but the same time all the students should get some knowledge and gain some language proficiency, then only we could uh, fulfill our aim, the objective of the, the question paper will be fulfilled. So, it would not happen without efforts of the teacher and uh, the students. Finally, the parents also should help the students. The students who are having good support from the parents in the reading. So, reading providing them newspaper, providing them story books, providing some authentic other material, newsletters, all these other things. So, definitely students if they go through the reading material other than the textbook, they will gain lot of vocabulary. See the vocabulary grammar you need not to learn in a isolation. Whenever you are reading a text, so you have to try to understand the pattern of the sentences, the structure of the sentences. From that you can gain lot of knowledge about the vocabulary and the grammar. So, in a context whenever there is a demand, you can easily apply those principles whatever the knowledge you have gained through reading. So, the parents also should help the students, their, their, their children in helping the children to read more and more language, because language is a tool, language is a vehicle, even the other subjects also. So, whatever the knowledge you may have in mathematics and science, unless you have, have the ability to express, then there is no use of your knowledge. Nowadays, communicative skills, expressive skills is the one of the major considering aspect for opportunities. That is why, so gaining knowledge in the, the language and the communicative competence in the language definitely will help for your progress. I hope this examination English paper will help in this direction. Thank you very much. Thank you sir uh, for uh, this input really. Uh, so, now this is now children you have understood uh, what uh, Janidhi sir has given. So, your exam is not going to check your content how much content you have by hearted and how much content you have memorized that will not be considered that will not be reflected in your question paper number 1. Number 2 is your knowledge, your language everything will be tested spontaneously. You need to apply it, you need not to recall it. So, the given situation when a question is there, so you have to spontaneously think on your own, you have to express it creatively. English question paper by heart answers apply So, definitely they will ask, there will be a question which directly asks you to reflect on it, how you are going to apply it to in your life. If you are in that place, how you are going to use it and our context level on the questions and you could have any memory test and gani gnapak shakti ni test chase at a question paper low questions on dow. In case of the Pramukhyan Vishal in today, you need to understand the questions first and a mere question paper you are going to get the answers for some good to just couldn't go try jails to panel. They got a question in your bag are then just go later automatically you can answer it very well. So, answer is going to write you. 
whatever question paper could have if you choose a it is not checking your ability in in your ability in your memory power. At a mirenta gnapak shakti on the any part of baga jadivaru dani test state level. In the effective gum your language ni what about in life flow. And a question paper itself, if you go through from section 1 to section 3, chivar varik juice say. Anni kuda, how you are going to apply this language into your real life? And mana nizanga jiwitan lo, bintang ella wada bautu namo am shalne juice ni. Khabar di dini English question paper lo na questions ni miru, pariksha lo na prasna ni guru tu betkon rasa answer ga treat chas na usun lede. Kebalam you have to apply it, how you are going to use it in your real life? So our concept to everyte mundi kel taro pilalu, definitely they will get good marks and moreover. Apabila itu nyata kerja sekti pun leh itu guru tu betul kos nausun leh itu, anda definitely itu stress same matra orang English question paper. So itulah di macam suggestion sih ceru teachers gula, you need to encourage, saja peru. So you need to encourage children to think on their own, write on their own, create their own material. So already miru, ini kau again I am reiterating. Ippar barik kotta experiment sih as nausun leh, very few days are left. Tu kudro leh orang ni, kotta kan edge kune badulga. Ini rojun cih mana class ulu orang jadi exam sulu wal rasna asal script sulu. Elanti answers rasa, ruh wat ingat la refine ceali, maliyo kawakash mewandi. Already rasne question paper keras na answers ne rewrite ceci culture ne engage ceci kena ka definitely they will refine their answers, they will come out with good marks. Thank you very much sir for this wonderful words. And now we'll move on to our exclusive question paper. So mik telusu already year long you're writing your exams, your English paper there are two papers are there and paper one and paper two and if you look at the screen. You can see there. So, this is the question paper. Paper one, you know, there are uh, three sections. Reading comprehension will be there. Question number one to seven, one passage, and question number eight to twelve, second passage will be there. So, total fifteen marks will be there for reading comprehension in paper one. Same similar situation in section paper two also it will be almost same, but one more uh, third passage you could want on the. So, section B samanchi paper 1 samanchi question numbers 13 to 27 work on tai 13 to 17 editing on tundi 18 to 22 paragraph completion question will be there and uh, other uh, 23 to 27 vocabulary based ga act, uh, question on tundi. So, already you are uh, writing these exams and section C creative writing will be there for this is uh, when we question 128 question is major discourse and 29th question is minor discourse. And what question, what type of discourse come under which uh, question and it is clear on the, we call it textbook, chivar logo to block on the list on the, you can go through there. And uh, uh, minor discourse logo to three minor discourses which are paper one someone in chief, paper two lo could have three minor discourses on tie and uh, major discourses list you can go through, I am not uh, repeating them again. And if you check the paper two also, almost it is similar with three sections, reading comprehension will be the first section. And uh, in the reading comprehension, only thing is three passages. Three passages untai. That lock a poem untun kachitanga. So these three contains each five marks, fifteen marks untai. And uh, uh, section B contains grammar and vocabulary. And question number sixteen to thirty-two, these questions will be there. And the intro sixteen to eighteen, nineteen to twenty-two, twenty-three to twenty-eight, twenty-nine to thirty-two. If various mana evite contextual grammar sammandinchi, contextual vocabulary sammandinchi activities untai, task untai. Just go through them again. And section C is some creative writing on the paper one low mother and a paper two low got the paper one number of questions you talk on a paper two low number of questions you couldn't that is a difference and children and you know you got important end and a these areas are fixed and a question key under what question number which type of question will come in the exam is already fixed a yundi now your role is you have to visualize it. So, what is the question number 28 in paper one you should able to recollect what what type of question will reflect there. अंत आकर एक क्वेश्चन असुन्द मन इमीडिएटली चप्पल गाला सो प्रति क्वेश्चन को फिक्स है उनका बटी ये रेंडु पेपर लो ना क्वेश्चन पेपर लो ना एरियास ने क्लियर का मेरो कसारी विजुअलाइज़ जस्ट को आली बट बाग आर्डन जस्ट को आली सो इधे ओकसार गन का चेस को गली थे आवर एग्जाम विल बिकम मोर इजी अंत मेरे � where I need to improve, let me know where I am going to improve, where I am going to improve, where I am going to answer script, where I am going to question paper area wise, where I am going to answer my recent pre-final question paper, this one it will be more useful. So, this is the question paper and you can discuss with your teachers also and please always read the question papers. Question paper chadwe culture nalwa jesko, it will be an advantageous thing. If you are going to perform, you will be able to improve, you will be able to improve, you will be able to improve, you will be able to improve. 
సో రెండు అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఉంటాయి నౌ వీ విల్ గో ఇన్ టు ద ఏరియా వైజ్ ఓకే నౌ ఫస్ట్ వీల్ గో టు ద రీడింగ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ ఏరియా ఫస్ట్ ఏరియా సో రీడింగ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్లో వాట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ విల్ కమ్ అండ్ హౌ టు స్కోర్ గుడ్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ ద రీడింగ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ అండ్ పేపర్ వన్కి సంబంధించి ఆర్ దర్ ఎనీ స్పెషల్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ టు అటెంప్ దిస్ రీడింగ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ అండ్ అందులో రెండు రకాల క్వశ్చన్స్ ఉన్నాయి మనకు ఎంసీక్యూస్ ఉన్నాయి షార్ట్ ఆన్సర్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఈ రెండింటిని వేరువేరుగా ఎలా అటెంప్ట్ చేయాలా నిజంగా మాక్సిమైజ్ చేయడానికి అంటే ఎక్కువ మార్కులు సంపాదించడానికి దీంట్లో ఏమైనా డిఫరెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ ఉన్నాయా ఇంక మనం అడాప్ట్ చేసుకోవడానికి ఈ విత్ ఇన్ షార్ట్ పీరియడ్లో మన స్ట్రాటజీస్ ఎట్లా రీమోల్ చేసుకోవాలి ఈ రీడింగ్ కాంపిటీషన్లో మంచి మార్కులు రావడానికి నౌ వీ విల్ టేక్ ద సజెషన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ లతా మాధవ్ గారు కెన్ యూ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అవర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ హౌ టు స్కోర్ గుడ్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ రీడింగ్ కాంపిటీషన్ ఎస్ సార్ Uh, reading comprehension itself uh, says us that you have to read and comprehend it so enta enta chadivamu danni enta baga ardham cheskunnamu annadi is very very important there so oka maybe kontha mandi pillalaki okka sari chadavangane adu ardham gaakapovachu kuda and pratidi kuda like uh, it every line has got its own meaning and when it is again put it in a paragraph it has got a different sense of it యాజ్ మనం రోజు మాట్లాడుకునే భాషలో కూడా చూస్తే మనం ఏదైనా చెప్తే ఎదుటి వాళ్ళకి మనం అర్థం చేసుకున్నట్టే వాళ్ళు అర్థం చేసుకోవాలని ఏం లేదు సో ఇట్ హ్యాస్ గాట్ డిఫరెంట్ యాంగిల్స్ ఆఫ్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఆల్సో వెన్ యూ లుక్ అట్ ఎ సెంటెన్స్ ఇన్ పర్టిక్యులర్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ గాట్ వన్ స్పెసిఫిక్ మీనింగ్ అండ్ అగైన్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కంపేర్డ్ విత్ ద సెకండ్ లైన్ ఆర్ ద థర్డ్ లైన్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ పారాగ్రాఫ్ అగైన్ ఇట్ ద మీనింగ్ షిఫ్ట్స్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ వే సో మనం మొత్తం కూడా అంటే యాజ్ సున్ యాజ్ యూ లుక్ అట్ ద రీడింగ్ కాంప్రిహెన్షన్ యూ డో యూ హ్యావ్ టు రీడ్ ద హోల్ ప్యాసేజ్ అట్ ఎ స్ట్రెచ్ ఫస్ట్ అండ్ దెన్ ట్రై టు సెన్స్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ లైన్ అండ్ ద మీనింగ్ బిట్వీన్ ద లైన్స్ ఆల్సో ఈజ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ దాట్ వన్స్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ లైన్ అండ్ విత్ ఇన్ ద లైన్స్ మీనింగ్ ఆల్సో అగైన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రిఫ్లెక్ట్ ఆన్ ద కంప్లీట్ ప్యాసేజ్ మీనింగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ప్యాసేజ్ కంప్లీట్లీ టెలింగ్ అస్ that also should be assessed and then only you can go forward and answer the reading comprehension questions once you finish reading read for once or twice if not even five times also there is nothing wrong in doing it prati sari meer chadivinappudu meeku oka laga ardham avochu malli prashnal chadivinappudu malli danni reflect ayi malli passage chadivinappudu oka laga ardham avochu so enni sarlu chadivina tappu ledu kabatti meer n number of times okka sari chadive tappudu koncham ekku time theesukochu kani rendu moodu saalu chadivinappudu meeku koncham easy ayipothadi endukante already aa gist meeku ardham ayi untundi kabatti so danni compare cheskuntu ante manam adigina prashne ki edaithe saraina jawabu annadi chadukuntu ardham cheskuntu dan answer raayadam annadi it's very very important adhe kaakunda deentlo ashok reddy sir gar cheppinattu రెండు రకాల క్వశ్చన్స్ ఉంటాయి ఎంసీక్యూస్ అండ్ త్రీ క్వశ్చన్స్ యూ విల్ హ్యావ్ అండ్ హౌ టు డూ ద ఎంసీక్యూస్ వన్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ రెడ్ ద ప్యాసేజ్ అండ్ వెన్ యూ గో టు ద ఎంసీక్యూస్ మీరు అక్కడ చూస్ జస్ట్ గో టు ద స్లైడ్స్ అక్కడ చూసినట్టయితే రీడింగ్ కాంప్రిహెన్షన్ ఇది తీసుకున్నాం మనం ఫాదర్ హ్యాడ్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ ఇది మీకు అందరికీ తెలుసు థర్డ్ యూనిట్ నుంచి ఈ టెక్స్ట్ తీసుకోవడం జరిగింది సో Uh, here the author is uh, going uh, away from the home and then he has to leave the home because he has to fulfill his dreams so he is returning back to his work after his wedding idi akadu unnatvandi passage lo unnatvandi gist nenu mottham chadava ivvaledu endukante it takes lot of time so dantlo unna questions chuddam ippudu so meer mcqs answer chese tappudu the first question goes like this the narrator did not carry his luggage because so idi ఫస్ట్ అసలు మనం చదివిన టెక్స్ట్ని ఎంత బాగా అర్థం చేసుకున్నాం అన్నది ఒక ఎత్తు అయితే ఆడ వాళ్ళు అడిగినటువంటి ప్రశ్న ఎంత క అంటే ఎలాంటి ప్రశ్న అడిగాడు దేని గురించి అడుగుతున్నాడు అని అన్నది అర్థం చేసుకోవడం కూడా చాలా చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ద టెక్స్ట్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఆల్సో ఈజ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ద మీనింగ్ బిట్వీన్ ద లైన్స్ బట్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ద ఆప్షన్స్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద ఎంసీక్యూ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అక్కడ చూసినట్లయితే ఫోర్ ఫోర్ ఎంసీక్యూస్కి ఫోర్ ఆన్సర్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో మీరు ఇది ఆన్సర్ చేసేటప్పుడు ఎప్పుడైనా కానీ ఎంసీక్యూస్ ఆన్సర్ చేసేటప్పుడు రూల్ అవుట్ ద రాంగ్ థింగ్ ఫస్ట్ హీ హ్యాస్ ఫిజికల్ వీక్నె వీక్నెస్ హీ ఈస్ ఫిజికలీ వీక్ అని అనేది ఒకటి చెప్తుంటే ద లగేజ్ వాజ్ రియలీ హెవీ అని అనేది సెకండ్ ఆప్షన్ చెప్తుంది యాజ్ అన్ ఎడ్యుకేటెడ్ మ్యాన్ హీ షుడ్ క్యారీ ద 
లోడ్ అని ఒకటి చెప్తుంది సో వెన్ యూ సి ద త్రీ ఆప్షన్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ అ నదర్ ఆప్షన్ ఆల్సో దాట్ ద హీ వాజ్ అషేమ్డ్ టు క్యారీ ద లగేజ్ సో ఈ టెక్స్ట్లో ఈ కాంటెక్స్ట్లో ఈ ఉన్నటువంటి ఫోర్ జనరల్ కాంటెక్స్ట్లో చూసినట్టయితే ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇస్ విల్ బి కరెక్ట్ బట్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద కాంటెక్స్ట్ రిలేటెడ్ అని అనేది కూడా వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు రిలేట్ ద క్వశ్చన్ టు ద కాంటెక్స్ట్ సో ఆ స్లైడ్లో చూపించిన విధంగా త్రీ కరెక్ట్ అయినప్పటికీ కూడా ఫిజికలీ వీక్ అయి ఉండొచ్చు కాకపోయి ఉండొచ్చు బట్ ద లాంగ్వేజ్ వాజ్ రియలీ హెవీ సారీ ద లగేజ్ వాజ్ రియలీ హెవీ అని అనేది కూడా అతనికి బరువు అయి ఉండొచ్చు కాకపోయి ఉండొచ్చు సో ఆల్ దీస్ ఆప్షన్స్ జనరల్గా చూస్తే ఇవన్నీ కరెక్ట్గానే అనిపిస్తాయి కానీ కాంటెక్స్ పరంగా చూస్తే దట్ హీఈస్ అన్ ఎడ్యుకేటెడ్ పర్సన్ అండ్ హీ డజన్ వాంట్ టు క్యారీ ద లగేజ్ అనేది ఈజ్ వెరీ వెరీ మచ్ రిఫ్లెక్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద ప్యాసేజ్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ రెడ్ అండ్ యాజ్ అన్ ఎడ్యుకేటెడ్ మ్యాన్ హీ షుడ్ నాట్ క్యారీ ద షుడ్ నాట్ డినోట్స్ దాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ మ్యాండేటరీ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ ఎడ్యుకేటెడ్ పర్సన్ దే షుడ్ నాట్ క్యారీ అని అనేది సో లైక్ దిస్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు రూల్ అవుట్ ద రాంగ్ థింగ్స్ అండ్ నౌ వీ కమ్ టు ద రైట్ వన్ ఈస్ ద లాస్ట్ వన్ ద ఎడ్యుకేటెడ్ పీపుల్ వుడ్ నాట్ హీ వాజ్ అషేమ్డ్ టు క్యారీ ద లగేజ్ అని అనేది సో లెట్ ఎస్ గో టు ద నెక్స్ట్ స్లైడ్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ అండ్ దీంట్లో కూడా చూసినట్టయితే మీకు త్రీ క్వశ్చన్ వచ్చి వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఈజ్ అన్ అడ్వర్స్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అని అంటున్నాం అడ్వర్స్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అని అనేది దేర్ ఆర్ మెనీ అడ్వర్స్ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ బట్ మీ కాంటెక్స్ట్లో ఏం అడ్వర్స్ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ గురించి డిస్కస్ చేయడం జరిగింది అని అన్నది ఇంపార్టెంట్ అక్కడ సో దేర్ వర్ మెనీ థింగ్స్ డిస్కస్డ్ లైక్ హీఈస్ ఎడ్యుకేటెడ్ అండ్ హీఈస్ వర్కింగ్ సో హీ నీడ్ నాట్ టేక్ అప్ ఎనీ ఫిజికల్ వర్క్ ఎట్ హోమ్ అండ్ హీ ఆల్సో షోడ్ దాట్ హీస్ ఫాదర్ వాజ్ క్యారీయింగ్ ద లగేజ్ so he is uh, this adverse effect is no, uh, disrespect towards father is also an adverse effect of education but the four things reflected in the, uh, the uh, mcq says that all these are adverse effects but which one is the right adverse effect according to the context is again a question for us so ala choose koni context toti manaki ichina tuvanti question ni aa question ka ichina tuvanti jawabul ni ఆ జవాబుల్లో ఏదైతే చాలా దగ్గరగా ఉన్నటువంటివి ఉన్నాయి అస్సలు దగ్గర లేనటువంటివి ఉన్నాయి సో అవన్నీ రూల్ అవుట్ చేసి అతి దగ్గరగా ఉన్నటువంటి జవాబుని మనం ఎంచుకోవడం అనేది వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ యూ డూ విత్ యువర్ ఎంసీక్యూస్ అండ్ వెన్ యూ గో టు ద క్వశ్చన్స్ లెట్ అస్ లుక్ అట్ దీస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ సో అకార్డింగ్ టు ద కాంటాక్స్ దీస్ త్రీ వర్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ గివెన్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద కాంటాక్స్ వాట్ డూ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ అబౌట్ ద నేచర్ ఆఫ్ ద నరేటర్ so he is asking about the nature of the narrator though the nature of the narrator is indirectly discussed in the context context lo ekkada kani ee nilanti vyakti alanti vyakti ananedi cheppadam jaragaledu kani meeku ochina tanti prashna ela ochindi meera mottanni chadivi ardham cheskoni dantlo unna niguda ardhanni means the hidden meaning is to be brought out and that should be your answer so you can't copy any of the lines from the text directly to say that this is the answer you have to comprehend it you have to understand the meaning between the lines and then come to a conclusion saying that narrator was so and so way disres- he showed disrespect to his father this says the education system has spoiled this man so like that we should bring out a assessment and analysis of that particular context and then write this answer appude aithene manaki marklo osthay kani మనం జవాబ్ జా వాళ్ళు అడిగారు కాబట్టి ఈ దీంట్లోంచి టెక్స్ట్లోంచి కొన్ని పా వాక్యాలు ఎత్తి రాద్దాము అంటే అది ఇక్కడ మీకు రాసినప్పటికీ కూడా మార్కులు చాలా తక్కువ రావడం జరుగుతుంది అనమాట నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ వచ్చేసేసి ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ ఫ్యాక్చువల్ క్వశ్చన్ సెకండ్ క్వశ్చన్ సో వెన్ యూ లుక్ అట్ దాట్ సెకండ్ క్వశ్చన్ ద క్వశ్చన్ సేస్ వాట్ డీడ్ హీస్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ టీచ్ ద మ్యాన్ సో ఇది చూపించినప్పుడు వాట్ డీడ్ ఈ టీచ్ అని అనేది డైరెక్ట్గా అక్కడ మనం ఇచ్చిన ప్యాసేజ్లో ఉంది దాన్ని మామూలుగా మనం చదివి మొత్తం రాయాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు ఎంతవరకు అవసరమో ఎలాంటి విద్య నేర్పించింది అని అనేది మాత్రం రాస్తే సరిపోతుంది సో ఇట్ యువర్ ఆన్సర్ షుడ్ నాట్ ఎక్సీడ్ మోర్ దాన్ ఫోర్ టు ఫైవ్ లైన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ద మ్యాక్సిమమ్ లిమిట్ అండ్ ఇట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బి మినిమమ్ ఆల్సో నాట్ లెస్ దాన్ టూ టు నాట్ లెస్ దాన్ టూ లైన్స్ అలాగే వెన్ యూ గో టు ద థర్డ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఈస్ అన్ ఎక్స్ట్రాపోలేటింగ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇఫ్ యూ వర్ ద ఆథర్ 
who would you rea uh, how would you react to the father's request so this is something should be personalized author ela chesadu ananedi manam chepte ikkada correct kaadu neeku ela anipistundi nu kuda author lanti vaadive aithe adi vartistundi kaani nu author lanti vyakti vi kaadu nu chadukunnappudu kuda you show respect to your parents you do the physical work and all then you have to write about your personal experience there or about the experiences you face or you do ante kaani author gurinchi ila icharu kada anani manam context lo nunchi ee context lo nunchi prashnalu adigaru kada anani mottham context lo nunchi etti raste maatram adi akkada correct avve avakasam takku untadi meeku vache markulu kuda maybe for 2 marks you will be awarded half mark or 1 mark not not more than that this is something to be personalized nee sonta abhiprayam lekapothe nee sonta experience dani ni batti rayals untundi kabatti you just can't copy the author's thing so this is how you can answer your reading comprehension questions when you come to paper 2 again that also is very very important is reading reading is really really important and understanding is again very important thing and you have to do the same way there is no different way method for it and uh, for doing with poetry now i think uh, raguram will much better tell you Uh, nicely explained about the reading comprehension uh, so in reading comprehension we think that it is easy chalaman pillan got it is easy but many of the children are losing their marks in hurry mcq lo only choosing the option a b c d and jpsc edo answer telisindani immediately ga a no b no choose chesesukoni so without going through all the dis, uh, options check chesukokundane okay answer daggara freeze avadam valla chaala mandi marks miss avutunnaru mcq lo so uh, sh what she said Uh, elimination technique use elimination technique at ba gurtu pettukondi though you know the answer in the mcqs mcq lo meek answer telisina kuda you try all the options in the place of answer so answer place lo annitni try cheyandi which is farthest from the answer eliminate it first alaga order lo chestunnarandi that's one one of the technique and even reading passage lo reading the passage first or questions first it all depends on you but preferably if you read the questions before going to the passage it gives you some overall idea about the passage beforehand and questions em adugutunnaru meer den kosam passage chadavalane purpose kuda fix avutundi so read the questions first before going to the passage that helps you guides you den kosam answer vetakalanedi ala cheyandi inkoti always use the contextual correctness konni meanings adugutaru what is the meaning of the word according to the passage according to the context sometimes the dictionary meaning is something and context lo meaning different ga untadi kabatti always be careful so padam ichchadu kada word telusu kada ani cheppi don't hurriedly don't fix the meaning of the word immediately i mcq lo edo pick chesi pick cheyagudu so apply the word in the place of context passage lo na context lo apply chesina kane when you confirm it it sounds meaning full sentence anukunna appudene you go for option you freeze it appudu mathrame freeze cheyandi you do that and next thing is short answers questions chaala mandi 2 marks ki they are missing the mark endukante 2 marks lo 2 marks ki raavali ante you need to be very cautious about the length of the answer and avoid complex sentences complex sentences no avoid cheyandi write your answers in simple sentences and try to give an instruction chadavandi your answer should not more than like 2 to 3 sentences untundi you can go maximum at the most 3 to 5 if demands it ఒకవేళ కాంటెక్స్ట్ కూడా డిమాండ్ చేసి నిజంగా ఆన్సర్ ఎక్కువ రాయాల్సిన అవసరం ఉంది అనుకుంటే కనుకనే యూ గో ఫర్ మోర్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ మోర్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ సెంటెన్సెస్ అదర్వైజ్ యూ కన్ఫైన్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ టు లిమిటెడ్ సెంటెన్సెస్ యాజ్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ అండ్ ఇంకోటి ఈ ఆన్సర్స్ని రాసేటప్పుడు ఏదో అక్కడ అడిగడి క్వశ్చన్ ఏదో ఓపెన్ ఎండెడ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఉన్నాయి అనలిటికల్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఉన్నాయి యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఓవరాల్ ఐడియా వచ్చినాక యూ హ్యావ్ టు అప్లై ఇట్ ఇన్ యువర్ ఓన్ వర్డ్స్ సో దాన్ని జాగ్రత్తగా చేయండి again revisiting answer technique ikkada kuda rasina ka answer rasina ka again you recheck you can minimize your spell errors you can minimize punctuation marks errors em unta ganaka minimize cheyochu you can go get good score also so this way you need to work more on it and reading comprehension chudaniki chala easy task anipichina kuda chala mandi pillalu marks lose avutunnaru easy ga ravalsina marks ni pogotukuntunnaru kabatti dani meeda focus cheyandi and focus not only that uh, if you are going through ante oka passage ichinaapudu dani త్వరగా చదవడం ముందు ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడం అవసరం రీడింగ్ అనేది రీడింగ్ కాంపిటీషన్లో ఈజీగా మార్కులు అంటే ఫస్ట్ రీడింగ్ రావడం అనేది కంపల్సరీ కావాల్సిందే అది దానికి వేరే టెక్నిక్ లేదు సో కాబట్టి బాగా రీడింగ్ ప్యాసేజెస్ ప్రీవియస్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్స్ నుంచి రీడింగ్ ప్యాసేజ్ బాగా చదివి 
what type of questions are coming you can get some understanding about it then you get ready for your final exams and before going to the next question and in paper 1 lo reading comprehension okay almost paper 2 lo kuda text sambandhinchi unknown text lu untai almost paper 1 lo edaithe strategies follow ayamo paper 2 lo adhe follow avutam kakapothe exclusively if you speak about the poems so paper 2 lo chaala mandi pillalu adugutu untaru evani how to crack the paper 2 poem reading comprehension where questions are like even some unknown poems will come ante mamulu text lite chadavagalugutaru ardham chesukovalugutaru gaani పోయం సంబంధించి కొంచెం అంబిగ్విటీ ఉంది కొంచెం వాళ్ళు పిల్లలు ఫేస్ చేస్తున్న ఛాలెంజ్గా ఫీల్ అవుతున్నారు సో ఐ ఐ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ సపోర్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ రఘురామ్ గారు కెన్ యూ హెల్ప్ అవర్ చిల్డ్రన్ హౌ టు క్రాక్ పోయం ఇన్ రీడింగ్ కాంపిటీషన్ పేపర్ టూ షూర్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ యు ఆల్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ద సేమ్ విన్ యూఆర్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ రీడింగ్ టెక్స్ట్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ ద పోయం ది ఓన్లీ థింగ్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ పోయట్రీ విల్ ఫైండ్ figurative use of language the beauty of language is expressed in poetry so in general we'll have to read the text maybe a reading passage or a poem we have to read it f- at least for two to three times and we have to get the central idea and uh, what does the text tell us about and when you are coming to poetry in particular and we'll have to see so many elements of language mukhyanga cheppali ante figures of speech imagery the mood of the poem and the tone and i request you to see the slide so the students have to work with the poem which is independent and generally paper 2 lo manaku question number 6 to 10 these questions are associated with a poem and uh, a poem which is not from our textbooks but don't worry it is up to the level of the students and don't 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 worry don't be panic ఓ ఎక్కడి నుంచో పోయం వస్తుంది ఎలా అర్థం చేసుకోవాలి అదంతా ఏం లేదు చాలా వరకు కూడా ఇఫ్ ద పోయం ఈజ్ కాంప్లెక్స్ యు ఆర్ గివ్ యు ఆర్ గివింగ్ గ్లోసరీ కొన్ని ఇంపార్టెంట్ వర్డ్స్ మీనింగ్స్ ఇవ్వడం జరుగుతుంది ప్లీజ్ ట్రై టు మేక్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ అండ్ యాజ్ ఫర్ యాజ్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్డ్ టూ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ టెక్స్ట్ అండ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ టెస్ట్ ఐటమ్స్ అంటున్నాము ఒకటి ఎంసీక్యూస్ అండ్ షార్ట్ ఆన్సర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఎక్కడైనా కూడా మనకు టూ ఇష్యూస్ it is not the length of your answer but the accuracy and uh, relevance of your answer matters length of the answer is important kadakana two issues eppudu kuda short answer questions mana maatladutunnappudu contextual relevance ante meer ichina answer question ku relevant ga unda okati ante grammaticality or well formedness of sentences and mcq is ku vachinappudu mee answer either a b c d an raayachu ledha daniki concerned ఇది ఆ నెంబర్ ఏది ఆ లెటర్ డినోట్ చేస్తున్న ఆన్సర్ రాసినా పర్లేదు అండ్ ఓవర్ రైటింగ్ ఒకటి ఉండకూడదు ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ అట్లీస్ట్ ఇచ్చిన టెక్స్ట్ను టూ టు త్రీ టైమ్స్ చదవాలి అండ్ మెయిన్ పాయింట్స్ ఐడెంటిఫై చేయాలి అండ్ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గో టు ది గో టు టెస్ట్ ఐటమ్స్ అండ్ దిస్ జనరలీ దీస్ ఆర్ ద ఏరియాస్ అండ్ ద సెంట్రల్ ఐడియా ఆఫ్ ద పోయం వాట్ ఈస్ ద పోయం టెలర్స్ అబౌట్ అండ్ థీమ్ అండ్ సర్ థీమ్స్ అండ్ ఇమేజరీ and mood whether the poet is happy or sad or serious or funny and the tone is it authoritative or pleasing and figurative use of language generally we demand at least one, one question on figures of speech and appreciation and here is a sample poem and uh, i'll arise and go now and go to innisfree and a small cabin built there of clay and wattles made nine bean rows will i have there a hive for the honey bee and live alone in the bee lord glade and i shall have some peace for peace comes dropping slow dropping from the wheels of the morning to where the cricket sings their midnights all a glimmer and noon a purple glow and evening full of the linnet swings i'll arise and go now for always night and day i hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore while i stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray i hear it in the deep heart score and here are the co- here is the question the word cabin in the poem refers to in general we know cabin is a room but in this poem in this particular context it we cannot say a cabin is a room and it's a it's a small house and uh, if you see the context uh, i will build a cabin generally we build a house no, we, we won't build rooms so ala chusina kuda answer tappakunda small house avutundi and go to the next one and nine bean rows and honey bee are associated with journey food work adventure and here you can uh, skip the elimination process lopala మనం అట్లీస్ట్ ఒక టూ ఆప్షన్స్ స్కిప్ చేయొచ్చు అండ్ వన్ విల్ బీ ద డిస్ట్రాక్టర్ సో జర్నీ అండ్ అడ్వెంచర్ కెన్ బి స్కిప్ అండ్ ఫుడ్ అండ్ వర్క్ అండ్ విచ్ ఈస్ బెటర్ సో అలా చూసినప్పుడు ఫుడ్ అండ్ జనరలీ వెన్ యూఆర్ కమింగ్ టు ఓపెన్ ఇండెడ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఎలా ఉంటాయంటే ఒకటి ఈ 
personalized questions. For example, do, would you like to visit Innisfree? Suppose such a question is given or identifying question. If you were in uh, someone's place, how would you respond? And uh, sometimes evaluative questions and somebody did something and do you think he is correct? Open-ended questions lo ochina puru. Dai chesi mali manamu text lo anchi extract chesi raya gurdo answers. Try to give your own answers in your own words. And please look at the slide. Right. Uh, why do uh, why do you think the poet uh, the poet wants to go to in his free? So what made him go there? And what sounds does the poet experience at in his free? And where does the poet live? So ikar uh, uh, do footpath avani unna puru. We will we'll find footpath only in the city. So this time we have to go beyond the poem, and the, uh, we can conclude that the, the poet is living in a city, and he still he remembers his visit or his stay at Innisfree. So Innisfree is maybe from the poet's point of view, it's a beautiful place, and the poet still has the memories in his mind. So it's a wonderful poem, and I think it is up to the level of the children. Let's have one more poem, and it's a very simple poem. And how do you like to uh, go up in a swing and up in the air so blue? Oh, I do think it's the pleasantest thing, thing ever a child can do. Up in the air and over the wall, till I can see so wide, rivers and trees and cattle and all over the countryside. Till I look down on the garden green, down on the roof so brown. Up in the air I go flying again, up in the air and down. And here are the questions. The, roo the word roof refers to, maybe roof, uh, blue, I'm sorry. The word blue refers to roof, wind, sky and hills. And uh, the next question, the word pleasantest. Uh, generally, we can expect at least one question on the contextual meaning. The, the particular word in the in the text uh, means. So here we cannot give a dictionary meaning. Rather, what message or what meaning is is given in the passage? That's very important. And uh, should we have should we have a glance at the other questions? What things does the speaker observe when he goes up in the air? And what does the words what do the words green and brown refer to? And what is the mood of the speaker? So, once you read the poem, you will come to know whether the poet is serious or happy or sad or gloomy or maybe uh, sarcastic. So, we can expect at least one question about the mood of the poem. So, dear children, don't worry. Chalamandik bhaiwa intante ekanuncha osunu poem yala untum ne man kuntar gani. And I request our teachers also. Uh, in the module, uh, we have a collection of wonderful poems. And please make use of them uh, for classroom practice and try to come out with uh, some divergent questions. And one more thing, when you are coming to open-ended questions, they are not fixed. Since our, since our uh, uh, question paper is context-free, and we can have n number of right questions. Okay, multiple choice questions, either A, B, either A, B, C, or D, and a fix, fixed answer on the open-ended questions, and you may come out with 1,000 right answers, and uh, all of which will be acceptable. So don't be so panic, and uh, I hope you enjoy poetry in your examinations. Good luck. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, I hope uh, children got some idea about how to crack the poem. Uh, but still, uh, if you speak about the unknown texts or poems, are there any? Uh, uh, can we suggest any? You have any idea? Any support for the children? Like directly, if they can do with the, uh, the, the, if the text is completely unknown to them, they never might have heard about it. In the middle, Gatol, Epur, Vinle, the Epur Chadole, the Epur Kotaga on the text, Cracture and Gibbandaga on the Atlantic Parasitillo, Elanti strategy sort of just conte. Even can we give any support in that direction? Sure, sure. Okay, can you support? So, them? When, you, when you are working with a poem, first, uh, Manamo, what is the theme of the poem? First thing, and uh, you please try to identify the important points and the mood of the poet. And sometimes we have already said figures of speech. Uh, general ga alankaralu, what we call in Telugu. In English also, we'll find figures of speech. Please uh, look at the slide. So, uh, uh, this uh, description is given in our eighth class textbook of, uh, after the poem, The Garden Within. Some some poems are there, figures of speech are there. And what is a, figures, uh, what is a figure of speech? So it is nothing but um, it is the beauty of language. I have already said poetry itself is beauty of language, and figures of speech is rely on implied or suggested meaning rather than a dictionary meaning. And uh, we make comparison. Uh, for example, a simile uh, is a literary term, and uh, we use simile with the linkers like like or as to compare two different things and to show a common quality. For example, Ravi walks like a lion, and Sita sings like a nightingale, 
and Ramesh is as clever as Tenal Raman. So, uh, you can identify, for example, you find words like uh, like or as, the figure of speech used in this context is, you can straight away, you can say it is a simile. And unlike simile, metaphor is it is implied simile, we would not use words like or as and we uh, superimpose on it. And all the world is a stage means, the wo all the world is like a stage, it can be understood. And Pawan is, li is a lion, it is a metaphor. And uh, in, in terms of simile, we can say Pawan is like a lion. And other figure, figures of speech is uh, personification. Here, mm, we describe an inanimate object or abstract thing uh, or non-human thing like uh, human. For example, the cake is calling me. We all know that the cake cannot call. Cake has no life, but uh, we are addressing the cake. The cake is calling me or the bike is smiling at me. It is a good example for personification. Hyperbole is a overstatement or exaggeration. So, uh, which is not possible in real life, you know, with one hand he lifted the mountain, if somebody says and uh, this, this handbag uh, weighs a ton, it is impossible, a handbag never weighs a ton and this hyperbole or overstatement and, uh, and antithesis are two opposite statements and uh, just like man proposes, God disposes. So, when you are working with this, make use of the glossary and identify the tone and see the imagery. Imagery, when you are reading a poem, what images come into your mind? For example, we have just come across the poem, how do you like to go up in a swing? So, our poem, Chavutunnapudu, mana mind lo pala, mana mo swing, uya lo uutunatuga, swing lo uutunatuga. When you go up in a swing, what would you see? When you come down, what would you see? And uh, so, these are the images. And the previous, I would like, I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree, Anesarki the island, the picture, the landscape of the island comes into your heart. That is imagery and figures of speech and get the contextual meaning. L dictionary meaning will not work out and uh, we have already said in the swing, the word blue refers to, naturally dictionary says blue is a color, but in the poem, blue refers to the sky. So, even you good tips and uh, multiple choice questions answer chest number, the HSC overwriting under the corrections lekunda, straight away answer sevendi, short answer questions no uh, relevance Length is not much important, relevance is important and well formedness. Sentences should be error free, acceptable versions low and uh, minimum two sentences or maximum four or five sentences, that is the limit. And uh, whatever you want to say, you can say. And they are unnecessary things in Rayadu. Moreover, text to extract this Rayadamu avoid chayali. Try to give, try to answer the questions in your own words. Then you will get very, very good marks. Uh, so so, in MC, in reading comprehension overall, if you check the reading texts and re poems, both will be easy when you do with 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 a with a uh, particular purpose or with particular planning. So, manchi plan to chendi. So, don't be in hurry. Read questions thoroughly, then read passages thoroughly. Then you start working on uh, thinking about the answers. Visualize the answers before writing the uh, answers. So, question chadagane answer ni visualize cheskondi. Visualize Aina Kane, then you start writing answer. And in quote, in the Mukhyanga Gutubet calls in the poems gani, reading texts gani, if su suddenly they come like Miki or Dhanka Watle, the intelligent ledu, then you use some uh, uh, concept mapping, mind mapping technique out of chess kondi. Any word from the poem or any word from the text, uh, maybe a place, maybe a character, maybe a person's name, you pick them. Around that person, around that place, around that character, around that event, you make some web kind of uh, uh, concept map. And uh, how that person is related with this paragraph, how that person is related with that place. So, like that, you can connect this to build this to both, definitely a passage make reachable out to the make other way put then you can answer it easily. So, when the practice could also any chip any technique chip in a good, you have to read on your own, that is the only thing uh, secret for your success. Baga chadam practice shandy, chadinda and other news contract practice shandy. Ardhan jas kunda ni elagti questions osu neyo practice cheyendi. Kani dini ki kontha meticulous mere vi puri chipne input ke sab di vidhi to paatka me teachers your teachers also supporting you so you do this and do more practice more practice only will give you the good marks in reading comprehension. So reading comprehension mere fifteen ki even not fifteen paper two lo fifteen ni vi fifteen it is a huge mark thirty marks ante pass requirement gaus and twenty eight marks ni okka reading comprehension lo ne we can achieve. You keep on working on it, regular practice and same preparation whatever you are doing for paper 1 definitely will help for paper 2 also. Reading comprehension paper 2 many children are getting maximum and the text like known text, known poems, 
unknown poems, unknown text lo chuna mark lo or more paper to make dilsu. Kabadi mere by prasa option le do paper to samajh preparation ki. Yeh the paper one ki whatever you are doing preparation that indirectly will help in doing good manchi mark lo oran ki. Then support just some gabbati. Then pane focus cheindi. So reading comprehension ki more worksheets laga plan just kundi. Me textbook lo context list kundi, passage list kundi. Then pane work cheindi. Previous question papers in practice cheindi. Kani practice cheed matra mana kunda ondal sinika. Miranta gurte bet ko ala. So before going to the, you want to add something? Uh, okay. One question. Uh, the text type. Oh, ah yes. Uh, so what what type of text is it? Maybe in paper one or paper two. Unna puru. Generally mana kunda text type choose na puru. If you go to the Passages that lessons in uh, the unit, uh, the reading test in our units. Uh, for example, if you take the first lesson, attitude is the attitude. Uh, so it tells about the life of Nick Vujicic. So it's a biography. In the same way, if you go to the lesson, jour the journey, it's a narrative with per first person point of view. Or if you go to my childhood, uh, it is the life of uh, Sri Abdul Kalam Garu, and it is told by himself. So it is a, it's an autobiography. So is environment. It's an interview. Uh, moreover, the dear departed is a it's a play, play script. So, ila manam choose na puru tapa kunda. There is a chance that uh, type of text ani uh, di question test item ko kote vacha vakasham tundi. So, please make a list of the things. Maybe in paper two also text type man sadhi na puru tiris po tundi. What what uh, puru text ila ani di is it an essay? Leda it's a, is it a story? Ani di man tiris po tundi. So, please focus on that. Thank you. Okay. So, in ko pujagre thene text to type chhe setup puru. Don't fix yourself. This particular lesson is for that only. Ani text to fix chhe kandi. So, based on the given passage, akar ichna passage exclusive hai the question paper lo ichna area ni. Dhan ni analyze chhe and start chhe end. In the kande, the skill ganke me develop chhe kandi. If you improve the skill, definitely it will help in creative writing also. If you are aware of that particular text is something like essay, you should aware of essay features. So essay features whether they are applying in this text or not, cross check just go on. And sometimes descriptions, gani narratives, gani even drama script and whatever it is. So try to analyze the indicators. Try to fix the indicators. Me mind lo undala. A discourse ki, a type of text ki, a genre ki, a features undai. Alaga broad gam me practice chhene start chhene gani. Lesson specific some extent it's okay, but not always. Okay, lesson lo you can find different types of text also. So be cautious. So दानी तरोग मंचे अनलेज़ चेस कुने स्किल डेवलप चेस कोण्डे। I hope you do that practice. So creative writing art art type लो प्रैक्टिस चेस कोण्डे। So next one important challenging thing in the ground level is प्रति पिलल everybody is worried about editing। एकडे वरने वरी ना गोडे एपुरे always people say that we are worried about editing five marks। मार्क दिल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर thirteen to seventeen is a big challenge for many children। So everybody is even teachers कोडे चाल मंदी they are usually very, it is a common, it is a common question editing, how to get good marks in editing. So editing pai na, mana yeh inches say what strategies will help to get good mark in editing. A 5 marks na yela ensure just ko ali, maximize yela just ko ali. Tarata pillal maamul ka ippun chesu na parishtitu lo what mistakes they are committing. So aim avoid chesu say and aim improve chesu kunte editing lo children can gain 5 marks. So I I hope, I expect Lata Madhagaru. Can you explain like what support they require in this regard? Uh, yes, sir. This is the toughest task for everyone. Even the teachers also feel that editing is very tough. Actually, it is not that tough as you look at it. When you look at the sentences, it has got uh, one error. And uh, the thing mandatory here is you will have one error in one sentence. That is for sure. If it is more than one, it should not be more than one error. If it is there also, 100 percent it will not be there, but if it is there also, it can be corrected. The thing is, how you uh, look at the editing? When you go for the editing, you can't just say that this particular line is, is having a problem or this particular sentence is having certain problem and when you look at the whole passage and again come back to the line, it might not, it might not be the same problem. So, Please show me the questions, sir. 13 to go to the slide which shows the questions. Uh, so, when uh, you look at the uh, things like uh, when this question when you look at in your question paper, uh, you have to go through the pa uh, paragraph that is given. That is very, very important first. First, you have to go through the paragraph properly, understand it, 
understand the whole gist of that few lines which are given to you and then only come back to each and every line one after the other and then check out and try to edit the passage. And one more thing I wanted to tell you here is you have to pick up the sentence, write the sentence with error and then write down the sentence without error also. That is very important. Sometimes some children what they are doing is they are writing the whole paragraph also in a correct way. That is also right, but you make a highlight of it if, they, if you are writing in that way. If you are writing the whole paragraph, then you highlight the area which you have corrected. And when you look at the uh, thing, uh, just see this uh, uh, few lines what are given for editing. This is a question paper which is given in one of our districts uh, for the pre-final. And uh, you can see uh, at the station his friends were already there. They were, they were exciting and talking loudly. When you look at this line, this particular line, I am not going through all the lines at a stretch. I am going line by line. But first when you read, you have to read the whole thing and then go line by line for correction. Uh, when this is saying, this has got a clue in the sentence itself. Prati sentence lo error ichin apdu, a error ki tagina clue kuda ade vakyam lo untundi. Oka vela, a vakyam lo ganaka clue dorka kapote, a paina kinda unna twenty vakya lo dani clue untundi. Adi ela ante only for tense, tense ki ganaka mistake is te, tense error ganaka is te, paina kinda lines koda chadivi dani decide chess calls untundi. Okavela ten okokasari tense error kuda ade vakyam lo dorke avakasam koda untundi. A slide lo choose na taite first vakyam lo thirteenth uh, question ko lo ichina twenty vakyam edaite undo. A slide lo mike en chaptundi there were they there were exciting and talking loudly. Ipudu exciting ane word and talking loudly. Exciting and talking loudly ki e manna problem unna to me kan pisunda. Excited naru, naru. So, it is happy, continuously happening. Kaani, inko there were. So, this is problem. This is problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. This is the the problem. This is the problem. the This is the This is the 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 Apadu there ani use chesaru, were ani use chesaru. So, were ane di me clue. Were undi kavati akada there radu. There ane di oka place in sambodis undi. Kani akada tu oka vectin a vectuli gurinchi matlada tunad kavati. Avakyam lo oka stalani gurinchi sambodis undi ante adi tapu anani manakardamavani. So, then clue anti akada. Were ane di clue aite. There ni dega marchali anane di manak hint an mata. So, the error is with there and the there should be corrected by they were exciting and talking loudly ananadi. So, meek prati vakyam lo goda alage clue untadi. Ipud next vakyan kosta chudandi. The noise was like the tripping by birds ani chadu. So, the noise was like the tripping by birds. So, a sentence lo unna twenty, a mutham sentence lo mistake ekadundi and an ediman and choose kunte either miku ekuga guda, mik chances euntai and editing lo nouns ni subject ni object ni manam change esse avakasalu chala takuntai. In the country, subject and object will be related to the noun forms only. So that lo march a galige the anti ante, oka verb form ni march a chu. Prati vacuum lonu, verb form ni manam yala gana, and te okavela everena, uh, editing lo okavela dini chadagotali, and te oka verb form ni spoil chase te, a vacuum yoka, meaning maripotundi, a vacuum yoka, ardam maripotundi. Kabati ekuga mi focus verb forms meda undali. Mali a verb forms lo kuda, tense meda. Verb forms lo konisal tapundunduchu. Like a pathe, then presentation of tense. And a whole passage, oka time gurinchi matlar tunte, a verb form of chesariki, uh, past gurinchi motam passage matlar tunte, present form lo adagochu, present like a pathe, uh, past perfect lo adagochu, atla. So a verb form lo unna destruction, like pathe, edaite than the part chesamo, like pathe than tapuga chesamo, than the correct chetaniki, mana tense okati, 
ఒట్టి వర్డ్ ఫామ్ వర్బ్ ఫామ్స్ లోనే ఉంటుంది ఇంకొకటి ఏంటి అంటే ఈ నౌన్స్ కి గల ప్రొసీడింగ్స్ అంటారు అంటే నౌన్స్ కి మనం ఏదైనా యాడ్ చేయొచ్చు డిలీట్ చేయొచ్చు లైక్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద థింగ్స్ దట్ కెన్ బి యాడెడ్ టు ద నౌన్ అంటే ఆర్టికల్స్ కానీయండి లేకపోతే పొసెషన్స్ కానీయండి ఇవన్నీ కూడా ఎర్రర్స్ వచ్చే అవకాశం ఉంటుంది అనమాట సో ఈ వాక్యంలో చూసినట్టయితే ద ప్రపోజిషన్స్ కూడా ఒక ఏరియా అంటే ఎక్కడుంది పలానా వస్తువు దాని పొజిషనింగ్ ఏంటి అని అనేది చెప్పేది కూడా ప్రపోజిషన్ కాబట్టి ఇక్కడ కూడా ఏం చెప్తున్నాడు ద నాయిస్ వాజ్ లైక్ ద ట్రిప్పింగ్ బై బర్డ్స్ అని అని అంటారు బై బర్డ్స్ ఎప్పుడు యూజ్ చేస్తాం మనం దాని వల్ల జరుగుతూ ఉంటే మనం బై అని యూజ్ చేస్తాం కానీ ఇక్కడ ఆల్రెడీ పాస్ట్ ఫామ్లో ఉంది కాబట్టి ఆఫ్ బర్డ్స్ అని అనేది రావడం అనేది కరెక్ట్ సో మన క్లూ ప్రకారంగా ఏంటి వాజ్ అని యూజ్ చేశాడు ఒక క్లూ ఉంది అండ్ ద నాయిస్ వాజ్ లైక్ ద ట్రిప్పింగ్ బై బర్డ్స్ కన్నా ఆఫ్ బర్డ్స్ యూజ్ చేయడం అక్కడ కరెక్ట్ ఫామ్ అవుతుందన్నమాట అలా మనం దాని క్లూని బట్టి ఏది మార్చుకోవాలి అని అనేది కూడా మనకు ఆ సెంటెన్స్లోనే దొరుకుతుంది సో ఇలా మీరు ఎడిటింగ్ చేసేటప్పుడు ప్రతి వాక్యాన్ని కూడా నౌన్ ఫార్మ్స్లో ఏమన్నా మార్పులు ఉన్నాయా నౌన్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఇస్తే కనుక దానికి ఆర్టికల్స్ ఏమన్నా ప్రాబ్లం ఉందా లేదు నౌన్స్లో ఎటువంటి ప్రాబ్లమ్ లేదు దెన్ గో ఫర్ ద వర్బ్ ఫార్మ్స్ వర్బ్ ఫార్మ్స్లో అది పాస్ట్ గురించి మాట్లాడుతుందా ప్రజెంట్ గురించి మాట్లాడుతుందా ఫ్యూచర్ గురించి మాట్లాడుతుందా విల్ అని ఇచ్చి మళ్ళీ యాక్సెప్టెడ్ అని ఇస్తే విల్ యాక్సెప్ట్ అని రావాలి కానీ విల్ యాక్సెప్టెడ్ అని అని వచ్చింది అంటే విల్ అనేది ఫ్యూచర్ టెన్స్ గురించి చెప్తుంది ఒక పదము యాక్సెప్టెడ్ అనేది పాస్ట్ గురించి చెప్తుంది సో రెండు కాంట్రవర్షియల్ అవుతున్నాయి కాబట్టి ఎయిదర్ ఆఫ్ ద థింగ్ ఎయిదర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రిమూవ్ విల్ అంటే ఆ వాక్యాన్ని బట్టి విల్ అనేది ఎక్సెస్ వర్డ్ కింద వస్తుంది అంటే యాక్సెప్టెడ్ అనేది మొత్తం ప్యాసేజ్లో పాస్ట్ గురించి చెప్తుంది అంటే విల్ అనేది ఎక్సెస్ వర్డ్ అవుతుంది అక్కడ ఓకే అప్పుడు దాన్ని తీసేయాలి ఒకవేళ లేదు విల్ అనేది అంటే జరగబోయే దాని గురించి ఆ కాంటెక్స్ట్ చెప్తుంది మనకి అంటే విల్ ఉండడం కరెక్టే కాబట్టి యాక్సెప్టెడ్ అనే దాంట్లో యాక్సెప్ట్ అనేది మార్చుకోవడం అవసరం సో ఎర్రర్ అనేది రెండుటి వల్ల కూడా సంబోధిస్తున్నప్పటికి కూడా ఆ కాంటెక్స్ట్ పరంగా ఏది కరెక్ట్ ఏది రాంగ్ అనేది మనం ఫైనలైజ్ చేసుకొని ఆ తర్వాతే డిలీట్ చేయాల్సిన అవసరం ఉంటుంది కానీ సెంటెన్స్ పరంగా చూసినప్పుడు when you go by the sentence and if you deal it with in isolation then anything can be removed and anything can be added ante will accept anedi kuda correct will this is he has accepted anedi kuda correct avutund anamata so deeni context param kaane edit cheyadam anedi very very important thing so ila ప్రతి వాక్యాన్ని చదువుకుంటూ ప్రతి ఎడిటింగ్ ప్యాసేజ్లో కూడా మీరు ప్రతి వాక్యానికి గల క్లూ ఏంటో కూడా మీరు వాక్యంలో ఫస్ట్ గుర్తుపట్టడాన్ని అలవాటు చేసుకోండి దట్ విల్ హెల్ప్ యూ ఇన్ మచ్ బెటర్ వే టు కమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎడిటింగ్ ఇక్కడ నేను ఇంకో ఎడిటింగ్ గురించి కూడా మాట్లాడాలని అనుకుంటున్నాను మీరు ఎప్పుడు కూడా రాసేటప్పుడు డిస్కోర్సెస్ రాస్తారు చాలామంది ఏమనుకుంటారంటే మేము చాలా బాగా రాసాము కానీ టెన్ మార్క్స్ మాకు రాలేదు ఎందుకు రాలేదు అనన్న దాన్ని నేను ఇప్పుడు ఒక జస్ట్ ఒక టూ మినిట్స్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ తోటి చూపిస్తాను మీకు ఇక్కడ కొన్ని డిస్కోర్సెస్ నేను పిల్లల దగ్గర నుంచి కలెక్ట్ చేయడం జరిగింది ఆ స్లైడ్ మీకు చూపిస్తాను సో దిస్ ఇస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద డిస్కోర్స్ ఇట్స్ ఎ కాన్వర్జేషన్ యాక్చువల్గా ఏంటి అంటే బెథనీ దగ్గరికి వెన్ నిక్ గోస్ టు లర్న్ ద సర్ఫింగ్ దేర్ దే హీ వాంట్స్ టు లర్న్ సర్ఫింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ హర్ so they had a conversation between uh, ante like he wants to learn the surfing so he has to ask her whether she'll teach him the surfing or not so this is a little conversation the question was like this that build up a conversation between nick and bethany uh, to learn surfing and and it was the question given to the child see when you look at this first slide here two types of greeting the child has written when you count the um, uh, exchanges they are coming 10 కానీ ఇక్కడ ద చైల్డ్ వాట్ ఈ డీ డేస్ టూ హాయ్ అని అనేది కూడా గ్రీటింగే గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ అనేది కూడా గ్రీటింగే టూ గ్రీటింగ్స్ మనం చెప్పాల్సిన అవసరం ఉందా అది మీకు మీరు అర్థం మీరు ఆలోచించుకోండి టూ టైమ్స్ మనం గ్రీట్ చేయం ఏది కూడా ఒక్కసారి చేస్తాము ఊరుకుంటాం సో ఎయిదర్ ఆఫ్ ద వన్ అంటే మీకు అక్కడ ఆల్రెడీ టెన్ ఎక్స్చేంజెస్ పరంగా లెక్కేసుకుంటే మీరు ఒకదాన్ని మళ్ళీ మళ్ళీ చెప్తున్నారు అని అన్న దాంట్లో మీ మార్క్స్ కట్ అయ్యే అవకాశం ఉంది తర్వాత చూసినట్టయితే దేర్ ఆర్ రియలీ ద చైల్డ్ హెస్ డన్ వెల్ గో ఫర్ ద నెక్స్ట్ స్లైడ్స్ సి మై దో యూ హ్యావ్ నో ఆమ్స్ హౌ ఆర్ యూ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అని అడుగుతుంది ఎస్ 
uh, surfing is uh, one of my passion so I want to learn it from you you also don't have arms kada that's why I'm l I want to learn from you uh, and this will help me in learning and an essay chaptundan mata that was the thing written by the child and go to the next sir uh, so look at here she though the child has written with less number of mistakes and uh, the sentence framing was good and everything was good but the child has received only eight and a half marks maybe due to the double greeting I endo chu and last also see by uh, all these things like this will come under one ma half mark or chala takwa uh, miku marks carry chese avakasa muntadi instead of that the exchange of language if it is in more better way and more informative way then you will have more chance of scoring the uh, marks next you just see this yeah I go to the previous one sir. Yeah. yeah you have read the lesson journey when the narrator finally decided he wants to give a message uh, to his mother he went out somewhere and he want his mother's to mother to pack the luggage for him but uh, un, uh, but his father has attended the call so this is an imaginary thing so if the father has to convey the same message to the author's mother so that we the question was asked the father will be leaving a message to his mother to saying that to pack the uh, luggage for the author so let us see how the child has written yeah manam already okasar rasa nenu deenni nen ela edit cheskochu so dear wife that is wonderfully done Chalabaga address chesadu. Uh, when you are went outside, sun calling. So look at this sentence. When you are went outside, sun calling. Talk with you. He want to uh, going some important work. So all this whole sentence has got a problem. Saying the word order is a problem. So mir chese chala tapu lela untai ante word order. Telugu medium valdu chadu kune English medium valdu ki problem under word order problem. In the kante valdu martlade vidanam, their uh, processing also happens in English, so their word order mistakes valdu ki chala takku untai. Kani Telugu medium valdu inches tarante, Telugu basha martlade tapudu okalaga martlade tamanam, kani than English loki translate chase kune tapudu, than word order maripotundi. And a verb last kosundi, subject object madilosundi. Kabati mir ade da vidanga ikad raste adi tapaya avakasa mundi. So dini word order ni mali emana marchi unna padalne atu itu mariste emana line set out undemo ani choose kondi. So mir rasi in the tapon and le the idea bane undi. Kani idea ni miru mali samakoriste avakya ni mali ganakatirgi than alo chinchi jagrataka padalni koncham kurchikoni raste ganaka correct out undemo chudandi. Okay, uh, next, next, uh, actually, so this five marks. So, in editing under question number 13 to 17, so only five marks. Remaining question paper is for 80 marks. So, we you need to you need to think about the other 75 marks. So, five marks question worry about 75 marks in mischievous question also. My suggestion, even from expert suggestion, also first ensure maximum marks for 75, then you think about five marks. So, every the 70 plus baga score jagalutunaru, those children can think seriously about five editing marks. So, editing lo five ki five kachu chede one it is a good thing, but thing is it is not the only thing. So, there, are, there is a scope for 75 marks in other areas and exclusively if you speak about the five marks and only thing is first you try to get clear awareness about how to uh, what type of mistakes are coming in the exam. First, my previous past last go the four five years in chunna twenty question paper show endi. A thirteen to seventeen questions observe endi. Elanti topless thone question paper lo. So in tamudu kore me suggestion chala man teachers go train jaise na puru. So first let children know how to make their own mistakes. Ante pillal practice ko sabo ko passage this ko ni. Each sentence lo elanti mistakes create cheyala. And the mistakes need to create chess call and the manavakocha avagana galgin chal snows on the so now my, my suggestion for children also please check the previous years 13 to 17 question what type of errors are coming there same types of errors you create on your own while practicing and the chess con mir sharing lo collaborative ok no exchange chess coni pair activity logani group logani kuchun exchanges coni you practice it 
సో మీరు ఎన్ని ఎన్ని నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వర్క్ షీట్స్ తయారు చేసుకోగలిగితే బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద మీకున్న ఐడియాస్తో ఒక ఒక యూనిట్ తీసుకొని ఇఫ్ యూ స్టార్ట్ కీప్ వర్కింగ్ లైక్ ఐడెంటిఫైంగ్ మే క్రియేటింగ్ ఎ మిస్టేక్ ఇన్ ఈ సెంటెన్స్ అట్లా థర్టీన్ టు సెవెంటీన్ క్వశ్చన్ ప్లాన్ చేసుకోగలిగితే డెఫినెట్గా మీకు ఎవరైతే ఎవరైతే మిస్టేక్ని క్రియేట్ చేయగలుగుతున్నారో డెఫినెట్లీ దే విల్ గెట్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు రిఫైన్ ఇట్ దాన్ని కరెక్ట్ చేసే టెక్నిక్ కూడా మీకు తెలిసిపోతుంది కాబట్టి ఇట్లాంటి ఈ టెక్నిక్ని అడాప్ట్ చేసుకుంటే కనుక ఈ రానున్న నాలుగైదు రోజుల్లో మీకు ఉంది వెరీ లెస్ టైం ఆల్రెడీ టూ డేస్ దగ్గరకు వచ్చే ఒక వన్ వీక్ లాస్ట్ టెన్ డేస్ ఉన్నాయి మీకు వితిన్ ఈ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ డేస్లో యూ ప్రాక్టీస్ మోర్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వర్క్ షీట్స్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ బై యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ మీరు తయారు చేసుకున్న వాటిని ఎక్స్చేంజ్ చేసుకోండి మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్తో ఒకరినొకరు కలిసి యూ వర్క్ టుగెదర్ సో దట్ యూ కెన్ గెట్ మోర్ మార్క్స్ ఫైవ్ కి ఫైవ్ కి ఎన్షూర్ చేసుకోలేకపోయినా యూ కెన్ మ్యాక్సిమైజ్ ఇట్ కానీ ఫస్ట్ మై సజెషన్ ఈజ్ డోంట్ గివ్ మోర్ ఫోకస్ ఆన్ ఎడిటింగ్ ఫైవ్ మార్క్స్ ఫోకస్ ఇవ్వకుండా మీ తయారీస్ని ఫోకస్ చేయండి అండ్ అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎడిటింగ్ రిమైనింగ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మార్క్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఇన్ ఒకాబులర్ అండ్ గ్రామర్ బోత్ ద పేపర్స్ సో మిగతా పేపర్ మిగతా వాటిలో దీంట్లో ఇంకా పదిహేను మార్కులు ఉన్నాయి సో వాట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఒకాబులరీ టాస్క్లు ఉన్నాయి మనకి వాటిని ఎలా చేసుకోవచ్చు so can you uh, give some support for the children so when you come to paper 1 section b question number 13 to 17 is based on vocabulary so i'm sorry grammar and editing and question number 18 to uh, 27 based on vocabulary and uh, if you see the first slot in vocabulary uh, please look at the slide and uh, question number 18 to 22 based on completion of the passages and the passage with five blanks is given and the passage from our uh, maybe a b c or readings from the textbook and uh, we are given seven options and uh, we have to select only five words and uh, this needs our conscious awareness of the passages uh, if so students have to read the passages and identify the location of the words in the passages and they have to write the answers the f- just you have to write the put the number and write the answers and focus on content words particularly nouns verbs adjectives and adverbs and awareness of the reading test helps the students to answer this test test item and uh, if you see uh, this is an extract from the lesson environment many wars that are fought in the world are fought over natural there is a blank and uh, so um, uh, there is no way if you are good at the the content area if you are good at the passages and you will you, you can easily crack and um, these five te- it has five test items and each item ha- carries half a mark and in total we'll go to you'll we'll get two and a half marks but the the other test item is very important please have a look at the slide right so the the other areas question number 23 to 27 and uh, it focuses on the elements of vocabulary so a passage is given from the reading test and uh, five words are underlined and we have to focus on the underlined parts and the students have to answer as specified the certain instructions are given these these are the focus areas and maybe synonyms or antonyms or one word substitutes or correct use of words and even uh, collocations or word associations and the uh, correct form of the words are derivatives and sometimes homophones homophones are uh, words with different uh, spelling as well as meaning but they are the same in terms of pronunciation that's very important uh, one of the areas and of course uh hardly uh, a test item on spelling is given so but the earlier ones are very important and uh, five test items and we have to answer them accordingly please have a look at the slide all right here is a sample the conductor so this is from the lesson uh, the storied house the conductor asks the passengers to get down and uh, they all put their strong together to to push the bus have gained this initial momentum the bus started passengers clambered clambered up jostling on one another the conductor r- rang the bell and the bus gradual took on speed it entered the village reluctantly like a trot child being dragged to school and uh, see the test items and question number 23 uh, the word strong is underlined and the question is write the appropriate form so the focus is on the the derivatives the correct form of the word and uh, if you see the 24 have so again uh, replace the word with the correct form and uh, 25 clambered the focus is write the synonym of the underlined word and 26 gradual and replace the underlined word with the correct form and uh, 27 reluctantly and antonym and see this one here is another sample and here it's from the dear departed uh, to miss john sherox so and so ringo bells and we have had it fixed up a good while now but i was keeping it for a pleasant so the word pleasant is underlined and he raises 
and uh, <coughs> I felt I was a bit burdened to you, uh, so I found someone who would think it a pleasure to look at, again it is underlined, we shall be very uh, glad to see you at the ceremony and uh, till Monday then 12 o'clock at St. Philip's Church and uh, it is a good thing you brought the bureau downstairs, downstairs underlined. So, five uh, parts, uh, five words or five expressions underlined, uh, see the questions and uh, here 23 give the word which is opposite in meaning. So, uh, the word is given question number 23 pleasant and we will have to get the opposite word and uh, 24 uh, give the word that has the same meaning. So, pleasant burden and 25 uh, replace the underlined word uh, with the correct one and uh, underlined word with the pronouncing. So, glad uh, it should be replaced with the uh, uh, homophone glad and uh, correct form is given and again uh, downstairs. So, generally we never say downstairs, we say downstairs. So, dear children the focus is on uh, synonyms, antonyms and uh, collocations, correct form of the word and even homophones, these are the areas. So, if you go to paper 2, grammar and vocabulary test item and uh, it, unlike editing, it is quite free and uh, it is uh, focused on uh, uh, the passage is not from the textbook, an independent passage is given in which three areas or three sentences are underlined and uh, we have to answer them as instructed. So, uh, sir, almost uh, uh, what rightly said. So, one thing is uh, for vocabulary and grammar, you need a regular practice. Whenever you are doing for uh, paper 1 practice, same kind of uh, strategy you cannot adopt for paper 2 also. And this kind of finding synonym, similar meaning, and opposite in meaning, and uh, alternate word. So, this word, whenever you come across during the reading comprehension, whenever you come across with some keywords, some important words you feel you always try to discuss with your friends. Me pakana kuchna friends to discuss shendi, you word ki a synonym ayun tadi, din ki a the opposite word ayun tadi, ledu din ki a the alternate chechu, din a the replace chechu. At laga mir while reading, while doing practice for other preparations only, you can carry on this. So, it laga continue chess kunte definitely the anni rakal ka use out tadi and even uh, completing the passage also. So, the akanicho under kotta ka kakunda manako ka contextual ka jadwe practice chayali. As a Mikuna options, any word in the correct suit of the fixtures quality. Ilan to any Jeskuna, definitely it will be useful and definitely Inca, Manam Inca, Chala issues which you discuss Shaskondi. Now, children go to Gurtubet Kondi. This session is still halfway. Inca Sagam session on the next session, we will have discussion about other important areas like creative writing, Mita areas, Lynch, Manchmark, Ladech quality, and moreover, don't forget, Mik important intent, Mik Samaninchi, your own issues your own specific issues, question paper sammaninchi, particular ga, manchi markul raval and patana area alo meko issue undi, struggle undi. You can ask freely to us, please record them, me notebook lo rasp et kondi and teachers also can pose your questions and our experts will support you and definitely we all together and two more panelists joined us. Uh, I, again, once again I introduce my panelists. So, to my left is Mr. Raghuram and uh, next to her is, next to him is uh, Vasavi Garu and next to her is uh, Asha Garu and all these all are uh, working as uh, street resource group member and they are contributing some material and uh, they are contributing to the teacher training areas also. And we discussed about paper 1's vocabulary and grammar. Now, uh, in paper 2 also if you check the question number 16 onwards, 16 to till the last question of uh, vocabulary and grammar in paper 2 and what other strategies and how can we get good marks in paper 2's vocabulary and grammar area. So, briefly we expect some input from Raghuram Garu. Can you explain what support, what way it will become easy for students to get good marks in paper 2 under vocabulary and grammar? Good morning you all. Comparing to paper 2, the focus is not on editing, but it is on transformation and, the, and the vocabulary, the various elements of vocabulary. And uh, please uh, have a look at the slide. Right. So, in paper 2, section B, grammar and vocabulary, the question number 16 to 18, um, it is based on uh, transformation and elements of grammar and 19 to 22 is the closed test and which carries um, 2 marks and uh, 23 to 28 choosing the correct word and 29 to 32, right. And 16 to 18, transformation and elements of grammar in which a passage is given in which 3 sentences are underlined and the children, the students have to read at them as directed. 
So, and he, these are the focus areas, voice and reported speech, degrees of comparison, question text, joining the sentences and not only but also similarly as soon as no sooner than two to and so that and conditionals. So, when you come to transformation, there is no change in meaning, only the structure changes and how uh, what uh, the question demands and what answer the question demands, the children have to write accordingly and no change in meaning, only the physical feature of the sentence is changed and have a look at the slide and change in the structure only and the questions are not asked in direct mode. Generally, do not expect rewrite the sentence in uh, passive wise or uh, rewrite in reported speech, do not expect uh, such an instruction or such a stem. So, here is a sample and the Pooja was doing homework, suddenly there was a knock on the door and the Pooja opened the door, she saw an old man, this segment is underlined. Who are you sir? Pooja asked, I have not seen you before, I am your grandfather, the old man said and this, this is again underlined. I have just come here, I have been here in, I have been in Delhi for 10 years. Welcome grandpa, said Pooja. I have brought many gifts for you, he said. This segment is underlined and thank you grandpa. So, when you are reading such a text and we will have to focus on the underlined areas. So, we have to see how and what type of changes can be made um, upon, the, upon them. And let us see the questions now. Have a look at the slide. Right. So, Pooja opened the door, she saw an old man. The instruction is combine the two sentences and here we need to use the linker. And number 17, uh, the old man said that. So, when you see the word that means, uh, we have to write in reported speech. And uh, many gifts is brought to the front position. I have brought many gifts for you and here many gifts is, is in object position and which is fronted means, we will have to use passive construction. So, we have to understand the test items like this. And uh, here, when you are working upon linkers, and uh, these are the linkers generally that, that refer to time, when, while, as soon as and no sooner and concession, two opposite issues, but yet though and although despite and cause and result like so, therefore, since, because, as and conditions, if and unless in case of and addition that gives us uh, extra information like not only but also and besides. So, Again, here is a context and uh, you can see, we can focus on the underlined parts only. Birds eat different kinds of food, this segment is underlined. The sharp, strong beak of the woodpeckers is good for digging nests in wood as well as for digging out insects from the trunks, this is underlined. And number 18, it is the most talented bird in catching fish. See the questions, birds eat different kinds of food and the question drag, there is, there is a demand. And uh, number 17. The sharp, strong beak, this total segment is unlined and the uh, question asks, read the sentence using not only. And But it is the most talented bird in catching fish and here we will have to read it using no other bird, means you have to focus on degrees of comparison. The most talented instead we have to use positive degree. So, these are the common test items and if you come to question number 90 to 22, it is the close test we call. Uh, an independent text is given in which four blanks are given and each blank has four options and we will have to choose the correct answer. So, while answering you can write either A, B, C or D or you can give the, uh, give, you can write the word, does not matter and have a look at the slide. So, the focus areas are tense or verb forms and articles and determiners and pronouns, reflexes and demonstratives, relativization. So, a sample is given to us, trees and forests provide a habitat and uh, for this segment uh, 19, there is a blank and you are given four options. Uh, many species of animals and plants, tropical rainforests, uh, dash ag again a blank is given. So, if you see this and uh, number 19, it focuses on all uh, prepositions from, for, with and in and number 20, it focuses on verb forms, uh, 20, uh, is, was, were and are and 21, linkers, but, because, and, and yet and 22, have, having, has and had. Similarly, uh, if you see this, uh, this test item, have you seen a desert and it is uh, a blank is given vast area of land with no trees and plants. So, again four blanks if you see, question number 19 focuses on the use of articles and 20 on prepositions, 21 linkers and 22 verb forms. So, these are very, very broad areas under this test item, question number 19 to 22. The common things are, the focus is on verb forms the and uh, prepositions, linkers, and uh, determinants and articles, very, very common areas. And if you go to the next question, again uh, question number 23 to uh, 26. So, other areas are, they focus on exclusively on vocabulary. So, choosing the right answer from the alternate, two words are given and uh, next one uh, 29 to 32 focuses on the correct form of the words and please have a look at the slide.
So, 23 to 28 again uh, similar options are given for example, two options like wise and wisely may be uh, different forms of the words or maybe similar relative verb pronouns and maybe singular and plural. So, here is the sample parrots are so look at these options wonderful and wonderfully. So, here we have to choose in the same way weather and then homophone and you have to choose the right word and uh, 25 when and where and uh, find and found uh, derivatives of the same word and the bravely and brave and off and off. So, these are the answers and here is a sample. Uh, if you see this test item C and saw one area and 24 immediately and interestingly maybe auction and action a lot of and lots of and put out and put on phrasal verb and uh, linker and and so. These are the answers. And uh, similarly, question number 29 to 32 it exclusively focuses on derivatives. And how do we get derivatives? In most cases, by adding prefix, uh, prefixes or suffixes. And we all know most of the prefixes give us the antonyms, and the suffixes give us the other forms of maybe from noun to adjective or adverb. Or that is very important. And we have to read the text and we have to see each blank and what form demands uh, the uh, what form is demanded in a particular blank and have a look at the slide. So, if you see this uh, one passage is given in which we can we can find four blanks and the for test number 29 a word real is given. So, we have to find we have to look for possible uh, derivatives real, reality, really, realize, realization. So, make a list of this and you see which which option which derivative suits there and uh, you can say easily first, first people to realize this and so they uh, use since the, the passage is in past tense. So, we can say used and uh, 31 uh, uh, in the late 19th century the real important the other forms importance and uh, 32 learn again we have already said it is in past tense. So, you can say learnt or learned Sim these are the answers and here uh, a sample the Javas are the most uh, danger is given. So, from danger what are the possible danger dangers dangerous in danger. So, here which derivative suits there dangerous it is clear the most dangerous of the Andaman tribes they are find is given. So, what possible derivative find finds finding and found. So, you can say found is the right word here and um, 31 coast from coast coastal coastal area and settle. So, settle settle settled settling settlers. So, here I believe uh, the word settlers suits well. So, to crack the, these are the answers dangerous found coastal and settlers. So, when you are working with this read the questions carefully and answer them and see the word order and uh, linker for example, in, in case of closed test and which is the best one and try all the derivatives particularly from question number 29 to 32 I believe uh, I, I came to that some of the students are facing some problems. So, what stem is given and what word is given and what are the possible derivatives can be made out of it and we have to see which option suits in the particular blank. So, it is not so difficult it needs all our constant practice. I hope you would get very good marks in this area. Thank you. Okay. Uh, very good uh, useful input for the students and uh, children remember one thing uh, whatever he, the input is given from here it is only for one idea. So, it all depends on you. So, please better you practice it more and go through the previous year question papers and observe the what type of questions are coming there, what type of uh, tasks are given under vocabulary and grammar and how this idea can be used there. So, that sh should be your target. So, alag alochinchandi and gatan lo ichna question papers lo na task lani choose to you work on it definitely this ideas will help you and evaitha meer chase the do not keep with you only share with your friends friends to share your school and discuss share them this will be a good thing. So, regular discussion regular interaction with your friends working collaboratively in group works it landi children dwara miru e scores and improve your coach me teacher help kuda this kondi, but dependence thaggi chendi do not depend too much on your teacher instead of that you practice on your own me swandanga practice should start chendi. So, then wala manchi vocabulary gram lo 20 ki maximize share chumi marks ni you can improve your scores and now the important area. 
సో రీడింగ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ వొకాబులరీ గ్రామర్ వీటితో పాటుగా వీటన్నిటికంటే కూడా కొన్ని విషయాలు చెప్పాలంటే ఇంకా చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ అయిన ఏరియా క్రియేటివ్ రైటింగ్ ఏరియా డిస్కోజెస్ ఏరియా సో డిస్కోజెస్ మనకు తెలుసు పేపర్ వన్లో టెన్ ప్లస్ ఫైవ్ అగైన్ పేపర్ టూలో టెన్ ప్లస్ ఫైవ్ ఉన్నాయి మొత్తం థర్టీ మార్క్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో ఈ థర్టీ మార్క్స్లో మాక్సిమం మార్క్స్ ఇలా తెచ్చుకోవాలి ఎందుకంటే డిస్కోజ్లో బాగా మార్కులు తెచ్చుకున్న వాళ్ళకి అదర్ ఏరియాస్ విల్ బికమ్ ఈజీ సో హౌ టు గెయిన్ మోర్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ డిస్కోజెస్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ సమ్ యూస్ఫుల్ ఇన్పుట్ విల్ గెట్ నౌ విత్ అవర్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్స్ సో నౌ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆషా గారు కెన్ యూ గివ్ ఎ బ్రీఫ్ ఐడియా అబౌట్ హౌ టు ఫేస్ దిస్ డిస్కోస్ ఛాలెంజ్ పిల్లలు ఎలా డిస్కోసెస్ని ఎలా ఫేస్ చేయాలి డిస్కోస్లో మంచి మార్కులు రావాలంటే ఏం చేస్తే వాళ్ళకి డిస్కోసెస్లో మంచి మార్కు వస్తాయి ఎలాంటి డిస్కోసెస్ వచ్చే ఛాన్సెస్ ఉన్నాయి వాటికి ఎట్లా ప్రిపరేషన్ అవసరం ఉంది కెన్ యూ బ్రీఫ్ దర్ షూర్ సార్ చిల్డ్రన్ యాజ్ యూ ఆల్ నో వీ హ్యావ్ సెవెన్ డిస్కోసెస్ ఓవరాల్ అండ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ సెవెన్ సెవెంటీన్ డిస్కోసెస్ సారీ సెవెంటీన్ డిస్కోసెస్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఇలెవెన్ మేజర్ డిస్కోసెస్ అండ్ సిక్స్ మైనర్ డిస్కోసెస్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ లుక్ ఎట్ యువర్ పేపర్ వన్ వీ హ్యావ్ six major discourses and three minor discourses and in paper 2 we have five major discourses and three minor discourses now uh, presenting a discourse is uh, not a herculean task children uh, actually it's uh, very easy if you try to incorporate all the discourse uh, specific features into your write up now every discourse has got language di- uh, specific features and discourse specific features Uh, if you take language specific features we have conventions of writing uh, coherence and grammaticality these are the common uh, discourse features for all the discourses now if you uh, look at the discourse specific features every discourse has got certain specific features and if you try to incorporate those specific features into your uh, write up then you can write your uh, discourse in a better way so now let us uh, see a conversation model actually what are the uh, discourse specific uh, features of a conversation now just look at the slide children now here's the question uh, for the conversation in the lesson i will do it you learned that mr muthi got a seat in iit he felt happy and went to his father to tell about this but muthi's father did not allow muthi to join in iit as his father could not afford the expenses in iit now this is the task given to you now you have to write the conversation now how to write a conversation effectively if you want to score good marks in conversation 10 on 10 so what steps you have to follow now uh, we have a uh, certain uh, specific uh, features for the conversation like a conversation is actually a talk between two persons two or more persons they exchange their ideas now if you look at the conversation here how did you begin the conversation see the first murti dad i got good rank in iit oh it's great congratulations my son what are you planning to do now dad i want to join in iit and pursue my engineering indeed it's a wonderful opportunity my son but don't you know our financial status of course dad i know but pursuing engineering in iit is my dream you know my son you have five sisters to be married off and three brothers to get educated i am a salaried person i cannot afford your expenses at iit i have to justify my responsibilities towards them too but that i may get scholarship first let me join the course so once again if you observe the slides children see we have the conversation is sustained with the dialogues the dialogues between the persons and one more discourse feature for conversation is Uh, maintaining social norms finally what is your suggestion dad here finally is the discourse marker here it tells the attitude of the speaker like he is convinced he is he is convinced with his father's words in the same way if you look at the next uh, uh, dialogue father anyhow so now here anyhow you are a bright boy that is father is also convinced that his son is a brighter bright boy so in this way now you have used okay okay means uh, murti is convinced with his father so these are the discourse markers discourse markers will help us to know the attitude of the speaker in the same way indeed it's a good indeed when do we use indeed that is you are accepting you are agreeing with the speaker so such discourse markers to be used in conversation if you want to 
uh, score good marks. In the same way, you also have to uh, use conventions of writing. That is, whenever you are uh, using a statement, you have to put a full stop at the end of the statement. And if it's a question, you have to put a question mark. And if you are, uh, it's an exclamatory sentence like emotions and all, you have to use exclamation mark. And if you follow all these uh, specific features, if you incorporate all these discourse specific features into your conversation, then you can get 10 on 10 in your conversation. So always children, you have to focus uh, on the dialogues between the persons and the discourse markers and the social norms that is very much important if you have you you all have I think observed you might have observed that in every conversation okay dad okay son you you have seen the social norms so if you follow all these discourse features then you can write your conversation effectively what what is the number of exchanges so what you do we need to uh, uh, only children need to fix their exchanges the number of exchanges asked there in the question or something like beyond that also will they go or will be accepted. Can you explain about number of exchanges to be written in a conversation? Okay, sure sir. The children you are supposed to you write at least 10 to 12 exchanges. You can also go beyond. Uh, but uh, while writing the conversation, you also should take care that in the very beginning exchanging pleasantries is not considered as an exchange actually and you are not supposed to use also in a conversation. That exchanging pleasantries can be done only in an interview but not in the conversation. Suppose if you have used a uh, greeting in the very beginning, you can continue with the uh, conversation, your conversation. You can uh, continue with the idea of what you were, uh, want to uh, write there. So you can also go beyond 12 to, uh, 12 to 10 to 12 exchanges, but minimum you have to write 10 to 12 exchanges. Uh, good. So this idea, uh, number of exchanges limitation, the given thing is write in your uh, conversation in 10 exchanges, you can extend two, three exchanges more yes. also, good. And this also you can apply for even for interview also. For interview also you can apply the same idea. Now uh, if we check, there are some more, some more uh, doubts for children. So there is a big confusion about description and narrative. So usually children are get confused in description and uh, narrative. Uh, I request uh, Vasavi Garu, can you give uh, what are there same, similar, are there any differences there? How to differentiate these two description and a con uh, and a narrative and a description? Mm -hmm. Actually, it will be better exemplified when we see a paragraph of uh, description and an example of a narrative. Descriptive in, in a description, we, we, we use details, vivid images, whereas in narrative, it is more or less like a anecdote or uh, it is a way we narrate a particular thing it, whether it is a story or an uh, anecdote it is a way we uh, describe an event it has sequence an event described in sequence is a narration like uh, we have a very good example here in our textbook uh, we can see uh, this is from uh, our lesson I will um, Every success, success story is also a story of a failure. So, first let us see what uh, what's the narration looks like. As a young cartoonist, Walt Disney faced many rejections from newspaper editors who said he had no talent. One day, a minister at a church hired him to draw some cartoons. Disney was working out of a small mouse infested shed near the church. After seeing a small mouse, he was inspired. That was the start of Mickey Mouse. Now, this is the narration about uh, uh, Walt Disney. Now we will see if we have to describe about him, how we will describe. Walt Disney was an American animator, film producer, director, screenwriter, voice actor, entrepreneur, entertainer, international icon and philanthropist. Well known for his influence in the field of entertainment during the 20th century. Now these two paragraphs are about Walt Disney. But the first one is narration, that is it's, uh, it narrates a particular point of his life and whereas this description gives an overall idea and here we have only details about uh, him, more and more details like description answers what else, Walt Disney was an American animator, what else, he was a film producer, what else, he was a director, what else, he was a screenwriter, whereas in a narration it has a sequence. Walt Disney faced many rejections from a newspaper editor who said he had no talent. 
So, then what happened? What next? Here what next? One day a minister at a church hired him to draw a cartoon. What next? Disney was working out of a small most infested shed near the church. So, narration usually keeps answering what next. Whereas, description uh, keeps answering what else. We have more and more details in a description. Whereas, narrative has sequence, a sequence. A description need not have a sequence necessarily. Hope it is helpful. Okay. Uh, and let us see. We will see discourse specific features of a narrative. What are the points you have to be taken care of while narrating a, uh, while writing a narrative? Sequencing events in dialogues, setting and sensory perceptions, expressing emotions. These are important while writing a narrative. Whereas, for a description, creating vivid images use, using attributes and describing words like we have seen here. What, uh, film producer, director, screenwriter, more and more words, attributes. Uh, using different kinds of sentences, short sentences, passivization. In description, we mostly use passivization and also giving personal reflections. We give a personal reflection in a description, whereas in narrative, it is like an observation. Then, these are the language specific features what Asha was talking about. These are common to more or less all the major discourses, like grammatical features like tense, aspect, PNG agreement. PNG agreement is person number gender agreement. That is when you begin there are five uh, sons, uh, there are five persons in a room. Here there you cannot use there are five person or there are five man in a room you cannot say. There are five men in a room. So, that five that number has to agree with the uh, number used in singular or plural used, uh, used for that no particular noun or pronoun. That is number agreement. Person agreement, he goes to uh, he goes to school regularly. We cannot say he go to school regularly. There, he is in third person. So, it has to take the verb that is in agreement with that person. That is called person agreement. Then gender agreement. Uh, Rama is a very good girl. You cannot continue he is uh, very enthusiastic. You have to say she because Rama is a girl. That is called gender agreement. We have to ob ob observe this PNG agreement. This is where most of the students feel a little difficulty. Then conventions of writing. Conventions of writing includes spellings and punctuation. This we have to observe a little carefully where to keep a comma, where to keep a full stop, where to keep, keep quotation marks. We have to keep dialogues always in quotation marks, double quotes. Then coherence, uh, Asha talked uh, at length about this coherence. You have to use connective likes but, uh, uh, how, but and uh, however, even Raghuram sir was speaking about the linkers. So, these are the common features for all the discourses we have to observe. Then, uh, we will be able to attempt conversation, drama script and interview as well. These three have, these three are basically different forms of conversation. For that, uh, to able to attempt well these three, we need to know the basics of developing and sustaining a conversation, of which as Ashan Dagram sir was uh, telling. Uh, you are maintaining coherence, using linkers and appropriate social norms is essential. And oh, okay. okay. So, now, uh, now it is clear now what is the difference between the description and narrative and what are the discourse specific features in these two and what are the language specific uh, uh, areas to be included in these two. And now, when it comes to the other area like interview and uh, conversation. Again, there is a they look similar, so there also characters will be there, exchanges will be there. Are there any basic other kind of differences? Are there? Are there? They are there, but how to present them? So, can we write an interview like in a conversation, or can we need any special preparation for interview writing an interview, or it will be like casual like conversation? Are there any difference between these two while presenting the uh, interview? 
the in, in contrast to the co uh, conversation the major difference between a conversation and an interview is in conversation both the parties involved in the conversation have to contribute more or less equally whereas in interview the person who is taking the interview have uh, has to form questions in a way to elicit more and more information or message or opinions of the person whose interviews is being taken uh, we'll see a slide slide please in conversation both the parties involved in the conversation are expected to contribute uh, to the conversation more or less equally or at least judiciously example if two friends are speaking about a sports event they attended both of them are expected to talk about their experiences what they liked or disliked about the event etc whereas in an interview the person being interviewed is expected to contribute most of the part and the person taking the interview is expected to pose questions in a way to elicit information or opinions from the person being interviewed questions such as uh, we, uh, let us see this is a this is a usual mistake we find in many papers in interview uh, students usually ask such questions what is your name who are your parents where are you from etc should be avoided because usually in our question papers we take an interview of a famous person because as the person taking the interview of a famous person is supposed to know all these details when you are taking an interview of a famous person like a uh, say an a scientist or a great sports person you already have to collect all this information beforehand what's his name wh who are his parents where is he from that basic information should be with you as the person who are taking interview those but these questions may be asked if the person giving the interview is an un unfamiliar person such as a random flood victim suppose you are taking an interview of a ra random flood victim or a person who met with an accident or any other person who is not known to public in general there you may ask okay what's your name what's your background uh, wh what can you tell about the incident like that see the questions posed by the interviewer in lesson vv lakshman we have a very uh, two very good examples in our lessons one is in ninth class vv lakshman this is a, be, a very good example of interview and another one in 10th class we have in the lesson environment where vangari mata is interviews taken if you observe the questions posed in these two lessons in these two interviews you will get a very good idea of how to pose what type of questions are to be posed is different from interview very clear one thing second thing is while writing the interview the needy input children if they go through the authentic text given in our textbooks if they go to vvs lakshman's interview in class 9th and vangari mata's interview in class and definitely they will helpful but the thing is they need to avoid unnecessary writings in the interview so uh, conversation may be some kind of formal greetings and all will be there but in interview if you check any professional interview they won't they need not to be replaced there in, in the beginning of the interview so that wonderful idea is better you go through the interviews given in the textbook that will be a wonderful source for children to write interviews effectively and uh, apart from these two and many other discourses like uh, even writing choreography script and uh, the uh, drama script so can you briefly explain uh, i request asha garu can you can you briefly explain uh, about uh, play script so in the textbook also one play is there dear departed so what if a play script is given as a task what precautions and how children should plan for it how to write that play script a uh, drama play or play script is uh, uh, based on only two features that is uh, dialogues and the stage directions if you are able to incor incorporate these two into your uh, uh, drama play script then it's easy for you to keep on writing the play script now uh, in, while writing a play script first you have to uh, write down the characters characters in the play and also the characterization that is how each one is related in that play and you also need to write stage directions and those stage directions you should write in present tense that too in the brackets then once you give the stage direction that is whoever is entering the stage and who is existing the uh, the stage is very much important and their props also you need to uh, describe in the play script and uh, once that is over then you have to write the dialogues dialogues of the persons 
now you also should take care of the dialogues when you are writing and the description. Sometimes children tend to write like, uh, uh, suppose if you take Kalam's lesson. Kalam uh, was asked by his teacher to go and sit in the last bench. Now you want to write a dialogue there. So the teacher in the dialogue itself, the children will write, the teacher asked Kalam to go and sit in the last bench. Kalam cried bitterly. So that's a description actually. That, you, that should be, uh, you are supposed to write the description in the brackets, that is stage directions. Then what is the reaction of the Kalam? You have to write. That is the dialogue of the Kalam. No sir, I won't go. So this is the dialogue of a Kalam. But what usually uh, children tend to do is, in the dialogue itself, the teacher asks Kalam to go and sit in the last bench and what uh, the Kalam speaks there, they'll write. So you are not supposed to do that. You have to write stage directions in the brackets and that too in the present tense. So and then you have to write the dialogues between the persons. So this is how after every scene is over, again you have to write curtain falls. So these stage directions you have to follow in drama play script. Whereas in choreography script, you don't have any props, you don't have any stage settings and only the chorus group will come and they set the stage. So here you have to directly begin with the uh, uh, like scenes, sequence of actions. Now first you will write the title of the poem, then the theme of the poem, then instances of the theme. Instances of the theme is nothing but the actions that has taken place in that poem. Then you have to write the characters, the location and you can begin with the sequence of actions because here you don't have any dialogues between the persons. So while writing uh, the a sequence of actions, you also have to write the stage directions. Like the chorus group enters the stage and a visual effect of house or whatever the setting you want to create there is created by the chorus group. And what actions have taken place that you have to write. No need to write any dialogues between the persons. Better if children follow some authentic text source given in our textbooks. If they go to ninth class duck and kangaroo, children can understand how to write choreography script effectively, better they can plan their own and before writing that they can use the source given in the textbook. And uh, I request the teachers also encourage the children to find the, the re really which connects. We have 17 discourse, list of 17 discourses. So let children find out in which like you can, they can go back to 6th or 7th, 8th, 9th or 10th class, whatever the class, they can connect the given discourse with the authentic text given in our textbooks because if you check uh, interview, you will find interviews. If you check uh, profile, PT Usher's profile is there. If you want to write a letter, they can go to Ramesh letter in class 8 and if they want some uh, 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 any diary entry, there is a source. Even they can news report, it is also there is a source. Like that, let children find out all these 17, list the all the 17 dis discourses. They can find all the list of discourses from the textbooks itself. So whenever their task is given for discourses, they better before writing. If they check them, it will be very useful. Those indicators will be very useful while writing their own discourses. And uh, uh, Vasagaru, can you add some more to this uh, other discourses, other major discourses? So, uh, first we have we have already discussed description and narrative, and uh, Asha ma'am has discussed uh, drama script and also choreography script. Choreography script majorly you need to uh, see the subtitles, uh, see the subheadings. First uh, title. Uh, location, characters, whatever th that template. If you go through the template which is also given in the text uh, in the question paper, if you just connect the template with the details needed, then you will be able to easily score. Uh, uh, many think choreography may be a little difficult to attempt, but it is one of the easiest to attempt because it goes like it it goes with the template. If you can uh, just uh, complete the template. Uh, location, characters, theme, uh, st the stanza, stanza will be given there and then instances of the theme and then sequence of actions. Here is where you get the major marks, sequence of action. Just visualize what happens if you are to enact the poem on a dice, how will you enact? First chorus will come and they will form the scene, they will form the ambience. So, uh, if uh, suppose if it is a poem of uh, we will say uh, that another, another woman. woman. The it begins with 
uh, he, this morning she went to a market something. So first scene will be the chorus have to go on to the stage and they have to create the ambience of a market. So if you just visualize how you are going to present it on a stage, you can easily write the sequence of actions. Then uh, the chorus, uh, they enact as if the vendors and the person who is uh, the lady who is enacting the role of the woman, she comes and enacts as if she is bargaining. Oh. If you continue to write the actions in sequence, what happens? Just visualize and keep them on the paper. Then it will be easier for you. And then uh, we have some points to remember uh, while attempting all the questions and while uh, preparing for this. Uh, please go to my ship. Okay. Uh, but uh, one thing, uh, children, you have to remember uh, whenever you are working, whenever you are doing uh, for writing for discourses in your exams, use space in the answers paper, last paper as a rough space. So, always whenever there is a major discourse, you plan some draft for it, you plan a skeleton for it. For example, if you have asked to write a biographical sketch, so plan what I should write in para 1, what I should write in para 2, para 3, para 4, where for like, like that. So, for every discourse, for every creative writing, you make your own draft, uh, own skeleton, it, uh, you can use the space given in the answer script. And uh, uh, hello, uh, we have one phone call, one question from the, uh, one question is there. Uh, hello. Hello, good afternoon sir. Uh, good afternoon. And before you speak, tell your name and school from where you are calling. I am Amrita sir. From where you are calling? Delphi HS Srinivasapuram, Yadadri Bhuvanagiri. Okay, very good Amrita. What is your doubt? Vocabulary grammar section, A grammar points, Prashna Laduta sir. Okay, okay. So, this question is Raghuram sir, when you So, grammar, A grammar and Kakunda, Ella prepare it, make marks of sir, he will guide you. Okay? Right. Raghuram, can you speak about it? Uh -huh. Thanks for calling us. When I am paper 1 low, what is the problem? particular grammar question number 13 to 17 manam editing under namu. So, in editing you are given a passage from the textbook and uh, five sentences are number, uh, numbered and uh, each of the numbered sentences has an error. So, it la unna nante, first sentence works as a guiding sentence. So, total passage of the number mundu mana first sentence choose as a tense edi person evaru edi gurtu patala. And uh, again, very important thing is when you come to editing, one sentence will have one and only one error. So, uh, this time you have to make a checklist. Either sentences one chapter na puru checklist chess koali. Ante manaku editing errors etla unta ante first word order. You have to check the word order. Uh, in numbered sentences lo word order correct ka unda check chess koali. And uh, excess words. Is there any word excess excess word ei vana unda? missing word, either a word missing on the lack of the fourth one wrong word, what is not tapuga on the. So, first you please see this if you go to any error, a error in a good e category is local kiosundi, maybe problem with word order, maybe excess word, maybe missing word, or maybe wrong word, you have to check it. Sometimes referential, uh, china example, you have relative pronouns, relativization, who, where, when, what whose which untundi so generally if you see this which versus who there are whom versus whose or who ila untai so you please check them and uh, prep use of prepositions chaala sarlu we make mistake prepositions endukante they are conventions we don't know exactly the reason for using such prepositions in that case uh, for example agree agree with agree with something and agree to somebody and alage congratulate uh, always takes on so, what we do actually when you are working with editing, Ilanti grammar illa chusna pudu, first me ro chera sin then ante checklist chess kondi. Prasthi, prathi sentence ki mari problem word order lo unda, lack pote missing word unda, excess word unda, wrong word unda. Wrong, oka ala illa first barrier, if you get it word order, automatically me ko, a common thing in ante questions lo unna pudu yamo thundi, verb comes first. Oka chinna technique, okay. So, atla chooda ala me ro. And uh, word order is okay, you know, next go for any excess word, next go for any missing word, wrong word. Generally, wrong word scope is the manaki and prepositions. Very importantly, prepositions and articles. So, dear children, 
ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్కి వచ్చినప్పుడు మాత్రం గ్రామర్ అండ్ వొకాబులరీ సెక్షన్ లోపల అండర్లైన్ పార్ట్ ఏంటి క్వశ్చన్ ఏం డిమాండ్ చేస్తుంది వాట్ ఆన్సర్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మీరు ఒక్కసారి చూస్తే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ బర్డ్స్ బిల్డ్ నెస్ట్ అని ఒక సెంటెన్స్ ఇచ్చేసేసి రీరేడ్ ద సెంటెన్స్ యూజింగ్ నెస్ట్ అంటే వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఇస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ సెంటెన్స్లో ఉండే లాస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ అనేది ఫస్ట్కి వచ్చేసింది అంటే అర్థం ఏంటి దేర్ ఇస్ ఎ డిమాండ్ ఫర్ ఫ్రంటింగ్ ది ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఆర్ హైలైటింగ్ ది ఆబ్జెక్ట్ అన్నప్పుడు ప్యాసిఫైషన్ తీసుకోవాలా అలా కాకుండా క్వశ్చన్ ఏదో ఇచ్చి ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ద బేబీ సారీ ద బాయ్ ఆస్క్డ్ వేర్ ఈజ్ మై బ్యాగ్ అని ఇచ్చేసి ద ద బాయ్ ఆస్క్డ్ వేర్ ఇలా ఇచ్చినప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది రిపోర్టెడ్ స్పీచ్ అన్నట్టుగా అలాగే మీరు సెంటెన్సెస్ జాయిన్ చేస్తున్నప్పుడు కూడా ఇంతకుముందు మనం చెప్పాము ఎలాంటి లింకర్స్ ఇప్పుడు టైమ్ ఈవెంట్స్ జాయిన్ చేస్తున్నప్పుడు ఎలాంటి లింకర్స్ యూజ్ చేయాలి రీజన్ చెప్పినప్పుడు ఏది ఆపోజిట్ ఇష్యూస్ చెప్పినప్పుడు ఏది అడిటివ్స్ చెప్పినప్పుడు ఏది ఇలా చూసుకుంటూ ఉండాలి డెరివేటివ్స్కి వచ్చినప్పుడు ఏంటంటే చెప్పాను కదా ఒక మనము స్టెమ్ మనకి ఇచ్చిన వర్డ్కు పాసిబుల్ డెరివేటివ్స్ అన్నీ తీసుకొని అందులో ఇన్ అ పర్టికులర్ బ్లాంక్ విచ్ విచ్ డెరివేటివ్ ఆర్ విచ్ వర్డ్ ఫామ్ సూట్స్ బెస్ట్ అది మనం చేయాలి అండ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఈజ్ ద సీక్రెట్ ఆఫ్ సక్సెస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఓకే సో ప్రాక్టీస్ అవసరం మీ అందరికి కూడా సో వీ హ్యావ్ వన్ అదర్ కాల్ హలో నమస్తే చెప్పండి మీ పేరు స్కూల్ చెప్పండి సార్ ఎక్కడండి చెప్పండి కలవకుర్తి చెప్పండి సార్ చెప్దాం మాట్లాడదాము సో మీకు టూ డౌట్స్ ఉన్నాయి టూ డౌట్స్ క్లియర్ చేయడం ట్రై చేద్దాము ఒకటి ఆల్వేస్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్ట్ యువర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎక్కడైతే ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఏదైతే ఉందో నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ సెంటెన్సెస్ లెట్ దెమ్ కన్ఫైన్ టు దట్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ సెంటెన్సెస్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్లో ఏదైతే ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఉందో దానికే కన్ఫైన్ అవ్వాలి ఒకవేళ కాంటెక్స్ట్ కనుక డిమాండ్ చేస్తే దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ డిమాండ్ ఫర్ రైటింగ్ మోర్ క్వశ్చన్ బట్టి నేచర్ని బట్టి అర్థం చేసుకోవాలి యూ కెన్ ఎక్స్టెండ్ త్రీ టు ఫోర్ మ్యాక్సిమం ఫైవ్ సెంటెన్సెస్ మోర్ ఆర్ సిక్స్ సెంటెన్సెస్ మోర్ నాట్ బియాండ్ దట్ అంతకు మించి బయటకు పోగడానికి లేదు ఒకటి అండ్ ప్రజెంటింగ్ ఐడియా విత్ ఇన్ ద గివెన్ సిచ్యు సెంటెన్సెస్ అనేది విల్ హ్యావ్ మోర్ వెయిటేజ్ దాన్ రైటింగ్ లెంది ఆన్సర్ ఆన్సర్ని లెంతిగా రాయడం వల్ల వచ్చే మాటల కంటే ఉన్న ఇచ్చిన గివెన్ సెంటెన్సెస్లో ప్రాపర్గా కమ్యూనికేట్ చేయగలిగితే చాలు ఇక మైనర్ డిస్కోర్స్ సంబంధించి కూడా మనం డిస్కస్ చేద్దాము ఆఫ్టర్ దిస్ కాల్ అండ్ మైనర్ డిస్కోర్స్లో మీరు డెకరేషన్లకి ఏం మార్కులు రావు ఎక్స్ట్రా డెకరేషన్లకి అక్కడ నీడ్ ఉన్నంతనే చేయాలి కాకపోతే బ్రేవిటీ ఆఫ్ ద వర్డ్స్ ఇక్కడ మైనర్ డిస్కోర్స్లో తక్కువ పదాలతో నేను ఎక్కువ మెసేజ్ని కన్ కమ్యూనికేట్ చేయగలగాలి సో మినిమం బేసిక్ టెంప్లెట్ ఆ డబ్ బాక్స్ అనేది పెట్టేసి రాస్తే సరిపోతుంది అండ్ పోస్టర్స్లో మినిమం ఇలిస్ట్రేషన్స్ చాలు దాన్ని బాగా బ్యూటిఫై చేస్తే కలర్స్ వేస్తే మార్కులు వస్తాయి అనుకోవడం తప్పు ఇక్కడ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఎలిమెంట్ చెక్ చేస్తారు తప్ప మీ డ్రాయింగ్ స్కిల్స్ చెక్ చేయరు అక్కడ కాబట్టి ప్లీజ్ మినిమైజ్ ఇట్ అండ్ ఫోకస్ మోర్ ఆన్ ప్రజెంటింగ్ యువర్ ఐడియాస్ విత్ బ్రేవిటీ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ ఒక మంచి పదాలు తీసుకొని మంచి ఐడియాస్ని ఎక్కువ ఎఫెక్టివ్గా ఉండే ఐడియాస్ని కమ్యూనికేట్ చేయడానికి ట్రై చేస్తేనే యూ విల్ గెట్ మోర్ మార్క్స్ కానీ లెంత్కి బొమ్మలకి డిజైన్లకి మాత్రం మార్కులు రావు సో వీ హ్యావ్ అనదర్ కాల్ హలో హలో గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ సార్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ సో ప్లీజ్ గివ్ నేమ్ ఫ్రమ్ సిద్దిపేట్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ స్కూల్ సార్ స్కూల్ జెడ్పిహెచ్ఎస్ సంతర్పేట్ సార్ ఓకే చెప్పండి వాట్స్ యువర్ డౌట్ సార్ పేపర్ 1 లో సెక్షన్ ఏ ఓకే టు మార్క్స్ क्वेश्चंस ఉన్నాయి కదా సార్ అవును ఐదర్ వి ఏ టైప్ क्वेश्चंस రావచ్చు సార్ అంటే డబ్ల్యూ क्वेश्चंस ఆ ఓపెన్ ఇండెడ్ क्वेश्चंस ఆ అవి ఏ టైప్ లో రావచ్చు ఓకే సో అండ్ పేపర్ 2 కి కూడా చెప్పండి సార్ అవి ఏ టైప్ क्वेश्चंस రావచ్చు సో అండర్ రీడింగ్ కాంప్రెన్షన్ షార్ట్ ఆన్సర్స్ కి వాట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ क्वेश्चंस కెన్ వి ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ అంతే కదా మీకు డౌట్ అవును సార్ ఓకే సో వి ఆన్సర్ ఇట్ ఆశా గారు కెన్ యు రెస్పాండ్ టు దిస్ क्वेश्चन ఓకే షూర్ సార్ సో యు మే గెట్ ఫ్యాక్చువల్ क्वेश्चंस యు మే గెట్ ఇన్ఫరెన్షియల్ क्वेश्चंस and open ended questions uh, like uh, p- you can al- you will also get personalized questions where you have to imagine yourself into that situation and write so when you attempt these questions like personalized questions uh, you have to take care that you as far as possible try to give positive answers and if you see at the rubrics it's it's clearly mentioned that your answer should be in either two or three sentences 
don't write a number of sentences because there are chances of making a number of uh, errors also if you write a number of sentences so you confine your answer to two or three sentences and uh, you have to the one mark is for your content and one mark is for your well formedness so uh, always keep in view while answering that and in case of open ended questions according to the readers perception you will be giving the answer so whatever answer you give that is correct according to your perception but try to give only positive answers so you may get all sort of questions in uh, reading comprehension passage like factual questions you will get inferential question that is your answer is hidden in the passage and uh, you also get open ended questions and personalized questions so you have to comprehend well the passage then only you will be able to attempt all these questions okay me doubt okay. clear in anukuntanu uh, now we have another call hello Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Can you please tell Even. your name, please? Sir, Rashmi, sir, sir, Varangal District. School? Can you mention? Can you uh, say your school name, please? Uh, JPHS Ellapur, sir. Ellapur. Ah. Uh, Asanpati Mandal, sir. Okay, Asanpati. Okay, you can ask your question. Sir, description is not there, sir. How to write description? Yeah, sir. Okay, okay. So, in that moment, you already presentation is given. Again, uh, uh, we will help you. फ्रूटे Uh, uh like uh, what are the other fruits uh, which can be comparable in taste with that fruit additional information more and more details ichukuntu povali description lo tarvata me personal reflections kuda undali aa description lo It, it's very big compared to other fruits it, it's very small compared to other fruits atla ante i am giving a very minor example uh, description asha how do you think uh, what type of topics will be can be given under description what's your idea like describing the thoughts of a person describing the thoughts, thoughts of, a of a person thoughts of a person on witnessing an event let us take describe your thoughts on witnessing a particular event ee oka event ki meer ellochcharu danni dani gurinchi mee abhiprayalni describe cheyam ani achindi ankonde aa event lo em em jarigayi give more and more details మీరు ఎన్ని ఎక్కువ డీటెయిల్స్ అంటే రిలవెంట్ డీటెయిల్స్ ఎక్కువ అంటే ఓన్లీ లెంగ్త్ చూసుకోకండి రిలవెన్సీ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆ ఈవెంట్కి సంబంధించిన అన్ని డీటెయిల్స్ని ఇచ్చే ప్రయత్నం చేయండి ఎవరెవరు వచ్చారు ఎవరెవరు ఏమేమి మాట్లాడారు అక్కడ ఏం ఫంక్షన్లో జరిగిన ముఖ్యమైన అంశాలు ఏమిటి రైట్ డిస్క్రిప్షన్ నీడ్స్ వివిడ్ ఇమేజెస్ ఇమేజెస్ ఉండాలి అంటే పిక్టోరియల్ వర్డ్స్ ఉండాలి డిస్క్రిప్షన్లో అది చదువుతూ ఉంటే ఇట్ షుడ్ మీకు అది కళ్ళు ఎదురుకుండా కనిపించాలన్నమాట ఇట్స్ కలర్ ఇట్స్ షేప్ ఇట్స్ టేస్ట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఆల్ సెన్సరీ పర్సెప్షన్స్ మస్ట్ బి ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఇన్ అ డిస్క్రిప్షన్ ఐ థింక్ యు గోట్ దట్ పాయింట్ వి హ్యావ్ వన్ మోర్ కాల్ హలో హలో ప్లీజ్ గివ్ యువర్ డీటెయిల్స్ బిఫోర్ యు స్పీక్ మై నో హూ ఇస్ దిస్ సర్ మైకల్ నితిన్ కుమార్ ఓకే ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ యు ఆర్ కాలింగ్ ఐ ఫ్రమ్ రాజేంద్ర నగర్ గవర్నమెంట్ హై స్కూల్ ఓకే వాట్స్ యువర్ డౌట్ you can ask your doubt i want to know about uh, awareness poster and the uh, competition poster sir difference Sorry? poster and awareness okay awareness and competition difference between competition. awareness poster and competition poster okay okay difference between these two okay. about so minor awareness poster and the competition poster Understood. i want to know difference okay okay definitely we'll answer it you have any okay. other question sir you have any other question Oh no, sir, I want to know the poster. Okay, uh, okay, definitely we'll answer. Okay, okay uh, so poster, uh, which comes under minor discourse for five marks. What type of usually will come? Is there any difference between aware, poster and awareness of particular issue or particular area or something like what is question? Can you answer it? Right. So the basic difference between major discourses and minor discourses this is very important when you come to major discourses maybe like a conversation or interview a narrative a report or essay speech so in all the cases you you have liberty you can write uh, from 10 to 15 sentences or as uh, as it is instructed in your exam in your question paper but when you come to minor discourse 
the word limit is only 50 words. Brevity, brevity is the key feature and uh, what I know about posters is there are two types of posters. One is persuasive posters and next is informative posters. For example, uh, we know all persuasive posters, uh, once you see the poster, it prompts us, it forces us to do something. A good example for this in advertisements and when you come to informative posters, for example, you celebrate uh, Teacher's Day or Harita Haram program or literacy movement, where we use posters or even uh, awareness pro uh, posters like, you know, and uh, how to uh, work with uh, epidemics or how to work with uh, uh, you know, uh, health camps and all, and they are awareness posters. And uh, before that, uh, have a look at the slide. So this is very important, uh, the difference between uh, major and minor discourses, I have already told you. Minor discourses, brevity is the key feature. And uh, in minor discourses, the focus on the accuracy, the accurate use of language, and the word limit is normally 50 words. And uh, you can see in minor discourse, uh, if you come to a message, and uh, a sample, uh, paper one, a message, notice and diary entry, and paper two, poster, invitation profile. And uh, very important for minor discourses, there is the layout. And for message, these are the features, and you have to see the layout and date and time and salutations. Two issues, purpose, why is it written, and what is to be done. Uh, so, for example, if you take this, your school is organizing a competition in your school on the occasion of Republic Day and one of your friends is good at uh, so and so and we leave a message, we write a message to your friend and uh, suggesting his participation. These are the features and if you see the message, uh, the date and time and uh, addressing and why, the purpose of writing a particular message and uh, what should be done. These are and uh, okay, who is writing. So uh, five marks will be distributed, layout is very important and some physical features and uh, what information uh, you are going to give and what instruction. Similarly, if you go to a notice, a notice is a formal piece of writing and um, generally it is circulated in-house. So uh, your head of the institution may issue a notice and have a look at the slide please. So it shows the context and using appropriate format and generally it is a formal piece of writing so it is informed that and all are requested and persuasive language. Uh, so it is a sample. Uh, okay, your school is organizing sports day in this context, uh, sports events organized. So here is the sample and for example, the no who is issuing the head of the institution and the date and uh, the notice in the first paragraph, the information and the second paragraph, instruction. So diary entry, uh, most cases what we observe, many children like dear diary. So in, it is a peculiar piece of writing, diary entry because we are the readers and we are the writers. So in diary entry, these events, what happened and the reflection and how did you feel. So this is a sample and this is the diary entry that uh, assume that Sharda in the lesson what's my name has written and the date and day and in the first part uh, event and the last one reflections. Similarly in minor discourse whatever, uh, so far this is a question regarding that and the occasions and purpose and using appropriate format or layout and design and brevity, very important for all the minor discourses, brevity is important and uh, using rhythmic language uh, if possible and the well formed constructions, okay, uh, like uh, you can use, make use of captions, uh, uh, slogans, uh, logos and all and very important in a poster is who is issuing authority. So you can see in persuasive posters uh, or like uh, you know, uh, posters related to movies or any advertisements, you can see certain images are highlighted. So uh, the, the crew and the actors and the person, the uh, people involved and if you uh, see a poster like you know, uh, we are celebrating Children's Day assume. So it is a, it is awareness program or literacy movement later or National Voters Day poster related to that or uh, save environment. In these posters, you know, awareness posters we call them and here you won't find any persuasiveness rather it gives us the information. Have a look at the slide please. So here, and it's a sample. So don't kill animals, they are our friends. You see the punchline and uh, here we give some points and maybe some captions and who issued the particular poster. Similarly, in invitation, we have a very good example for invitation in class six, unit one, uh, peace and harmony. A sample of um, the format of invitation is given to us. Uh, you know very well, uh, date and venue, chief guest, guests of honor and events and vote of thanks and who who is addressing and date and time also and uh, sometimes invitations are personalized. So there we say 
you are cordially invited that that caption that, that sentence can be added so in total when you are looking into posters uh, you have to see the question and uh, what type of uh, poster we have to uh, present is generally in our examination uh, awareness posters are important and generally we don't go for persuasive uh, posters we will continue the, this discussion on minor discourses and we before that we have one other call hello hello sir hello uh, can you uh, share your name which school am I? Can you repeat the school? Yes, uh, the question is, sir, any choice for identify errors in these methods? It's not audible. Can you keep your volume low, your TV's volume? Sir, any choice for identify errors in easy method? Errors in? Easy, easy way. Method. Easy method. Very good. Yes. Uh, so you want easy <laughs> method to identify errors for editing? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, nice. Uh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> Only method is first you try to learn how to write, make mistakes first. Before you identify the errors, first you take previous year question papers, look at them, go through the question number 13 to 17, what type of errors are coming, how errors are uh, included in the sentences. You check them first, you learn them, first you try same types of errors. You prepare your own question number from 13 to 17. You prepare your own activity, your own your own five sentences. So you practice first creating errors in sentences. Slowly you will learn how to correct them also. Easily you will identify where error is. First you practice how to create errors. That will help you. Okay. Can I, can I add here? Uh, hmm. And we have one more call. Hello. Okay. Hello, hello, please reduce your TV volume, please. Re hello, hello. I am Shivani from JPHS Mota Kanduri, Adarji Bondi district. Shivani, uh, tell me your question. Sir, I am a text flow. Text flow is grammar vocabulary in H. Kundamal, sir. Abhi, discourse flow use the Discourse flow, question text flow grammar and vocabulary. Hmm. What is the discourse flow use the Hmm, tapa kuna vada. You need not highlight. When you are writing in a correct way, you can use anywhere. Vocabulary grammar you can whenever there is a context, Sandarbha unte, you use it. You use it. Then the problem will not do. Can highlight chairs now also aim lead. Highlight che kuna evaluator chowter make mark less sir. At the context adigite ne asandarbo question ki me answer ki then connection one unte, you can use it there. Okay na? Uh, okay. Uh, hello. Uh, can you share your name and school? Speak. Hello. Okay. Vasagar, something you are saying. How to identify errors in an easy way? How to attempt 5 marks from question 13 to 17 in an easy way? Practicing editing in classroom, it, uh, uh, one of the best ideas is to make a pair. Idhar kalsi kuchni take a pair from a textbook. And the all pronouns then circle chandi. Tarvata all uh, prepositions what ki square mark or star mark or idhar kondi. Tarvata all uh, verbs uh, write uh, some give some other uh, way to identify that's a verb. Atla manaku ame mosta editing lo we have pronouns, uh, we have uh, Verbs, verbs, verbs prepositions, uh, prepositions articles. Articles, articles, articles also. Then, after identifying all these, change any five, like one article, one preposition, one pronoun, and uh, one uh, word order change, and then make them wrong, as Ashok sir said. What ni wrong change? Put a on the gara and change, let the the change. Alagi half on the gara about to, for or to know, you change it. And give that paragraph, the change paragraph with errors to your friend, and ask her or him to share one paragraph with errors to you. Then 
you rectify the errors and let him correct and uh, he rectifies the errors and you correct them. Itla mir pair lo practice just kunto bote, it works very effectively. This is one way of practicing editing. So, this is also one way of learning also, the, you can enjoy and you can use the same uh, passages for other purposes too, for reading comprehension kula vada kochu, you can use the same pro passages for uh, context for discourses also. So, the mir classroom, mir teacher support to you can plan those worksheets and we have another call, hello. 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 Hello, sir. Chapama, yeah. your name and school. Hello, sir. Your name, 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 please. T TV volume tagi amma. TV volume tagi endi. Okay, sir. Now name is Jyoti. Jyoti is Narsing Badla. Narsing Badla. Chapama, any question endi? What's your question? MCQ ki answer ila chhe ali. Definite ga. We will answer it. Listen. Ashagar, can you, how to attempt MCQs? So, MCQs, if you see the distractors, definitely all the distractors are very closely related. So, unless until you are able to comprehend the given passage thoroughly, you will not be able to attempt this section. And while uh, attempting MCQs, first you have to uh, follow the elimination order. Ante oka two distractors definite ga undavu close ga. Only you will have only two distractors are very closely related. Our only thing we manam eliminate cheyali ante mere first question chadavandi. Before uh, begin reading with the passage, if you read the question, then it helps you to stay focused. Asal mana name adiyar anadi will understand. Then once you go through the passage, then you will be able to easily eliminate the uh, 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 other distractors and you will be able to get the answer. And moreover, MCQs low, you will be asked the word, the meaning of a particular word. So, there also the distract, in the distractors definitely one opposite word will be given. So, you can easily eliminate and uh, the other two options will be like synonyms of that word. Then you have to use the contextual word, the meaning. You have to make out the contextual meaning and then you have to choose the word. So, in this way, if you uh, uh, adopt the process of elimination, then you can easily able to attempt MCQs. Hello. Hello. Uh, can Hello. You your name, name and school please. Kaveshri. Kaveshri, from where you are calling? Siddhipati district. School, school. Jetty Toguta. Toguta. What is your doubt? How to write essay? How to write? An essay. Essay. How to write an essay? Okay. And also letter writing, in, it should be in one page or for the page? Or in one page or in two? Your you question? can continue. Okay, okay. You can explain it. So, okay, okay. We will answer this question. Okay. Now, the question is essay. I think uh, uh, you want to give some clarity on essay also, yes. how to write an essay. So, can you share with them? Okay, an essay is a, a topic on a particular subject, is a piece of writing on a particular subject and while attempting an essay, first you have to write the introduction of a given topic, then you are supposed to write a thesis statement, then you have to write the importance of that particular topic, pros and cons and also the measures to be adopted and then the conclusion. So, this is how first you have to uh, organize the ideas of uh, that particular topic. Now, when suppose if you take child labor, child labor uh, first you have to write the introduction that is uh, if a child is uh, deprived of his education and is employed, is forced to work, uh, we call him as a child labor. Now, you also have to write the thesis statement. Mm -hmm. So, what is Second this thesis statement? Thesis statement uh, you will use at the end of a introductory paragraph. This tells us what idea the you want to convey through your essay. If you just look at the slide, see children, here you can see we have introduced uh, uh, introduction we have given what uh, who is a child labor if a child is deprived of his education and is forced to do any work 
that snatches away the dignity potential and most importantly the childhood of a child is termed as a child labor child labor has often been associated with work that is harmful to the physical as well as mental development now if you look at the slide uh, at the end of the introductory paragraph we have uh, given that child labor is an anti social element that is prevailing in the society so this is a thesis statement a thesis statement is usually written at the end of the introductory paragraph and it gives the uh, reader an idea that what you are supposed to your idea that is what the, your other sections or other paragraphs you are going to discuss with like uh, if i am saying that child labor is an anti social element that is prevailing in the society that is i am for or uh, against to that topic it tells us that thesis statement will tells us whether am i for or against to the topic now if i say child labor is an anti social element i am talking against i am not uh, for to the child labor so with that thesis st statement will be knowing that uh, it it conveys the idea what you are going to write in the next paragraphs and uh, you also have to write the pros and cons of the given topic and also the measures remedies to be taken and at the, at the end you have to write the conclusion that is as a responsible citizen what is your duty towards eradication of child labor and what the government also what steps the government should adopt to uh, wipe out child labor from the society okay so i think uh, they got uh, its doubt is clear so essay whatever it is if it is essay or biographical sketch a description or conversation whatever you write first before writing read the context properly so whenever you are attempting the discourse creative writing read the context thoroughly and go through the input given under the task prati question kind that input is sunnar clear ga so you try to understand it clearly then try to visualize your answer with this input and while writing cross check whether all the input is given under the task under the question is really reflecting there or not and kachithanga input anedi mana answer lo reflect avvali don't deviate from the context akkada ichina theme ni gaani context gaani deviate ayi answer raayagudde atti paristhithullo so and always keep in your mind don't make uh, single text continuously in a single page instead of that you can break them into different paragraphs so paragraphing cheyadam practice cheyandi tatha prathi paragraph lo try to insert one input idea into that one paragraph so input lo ichina prathi idea ni okoka paragraph lo place cheyadam try cheyandi and writing too lengthy also not good and writing a letter the left or right alignment that discussion pakkana pedthe you try to follow the examples given in the textbook so stick to the examples given in the textbook follow them only and always preferably start your letter or discourses in a fresh page definitely you have some weightage fresh page ni start cheyandi pai nundi kind varaki okay rakam gante fresh page lo unte it will go in a correct way and majjalo raaste ganaka anta weightage undakapochu ante tappen le raayadam gani but prefer it పైన కొత్త పేజ్లో రాయడానికి ట్రై చేయండి తర్వాత రాసిన ఆన్సర్ని అగైన్ రీవిజిటింగ్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ కల్చర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు అడాప్ట్ రాసిన ఆన్సర్ని మళ్ళీ విజిట్ చేయడం వల్ల యూ కెన్ మినిమైజ్ యువర్ స్పెల్ ఎర్రర్స్ స్పెల్ ఎర్రర్స్ తగ్గించవచ్చు పంక్చువేషన్ మార్క్స్ అని తప్పు పోతే కనుక రీకరెక్ట్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఇంకేమైనా ఐడియాస్ కనుక తేడా వచ్చితే కనుక యూ కెన్ రీప్లేస్ దేవ్ వర్డ్స్ తప్పు పోయినా యూ కెన్ రీప్లేస్ దేవ్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వే రీవిజిటింగ్ ద ఆన్సర్స్ ఈజ్ వెరీ గుడ్ హ్యాబిట్ అది ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయండి అండ్ మై సిన్సియర్ రిక్వెస్ట్ అండ్ మీన్ సిన్సియర్ అడ్వైస్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ ఈజ్ డోంట్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ న్యూ నవ్ కొత్తని ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయకండి కొత్త వైపు వెళ్ళకుండా కొత్త నేర్చుకునే ప్రయత్నం చేయకండి ఆల్రెడీ మీరు ప్రీ ఫైనల్స్ యూ హవ్ అటెంప్టెడ్ సబ్మిట్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఓవర్ అగైన్ యూఆర్ డూయింగ్ సమ్ ప్రాక్టీసింగ్ టెస్ట్ ఇన్ యూర్ స్కూల్స్ వాటి రాసిన ఆన్సర్స్ని యూ రివిజిట్ దెమ్ అగైన్ ఆన్సర్స్ని మళ్ళీ వెళ్ళండి ఆన్సర్స్ని మళ్ళీ చదవండి వాటిని బెటర్ వైపు తీసుకెళ్ళండి ఇంకా బెటర్గా రాయండి మామూలుగా ప్రయత్నం చేస్తున్న వాళ్ళు వెనకబడ్డం అన్న ఫీలింగ్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళు వాటిని మిగతా వాళ్ళు రాసిన ఆన్సర్స్ని ఫాలో అవ్వండి ద వాటిని చూసైనా యూ కెన్ యాడ్ యువర్ ఐడియాస్ టు దాట్ కొంత మీరు ఇంప్రూవ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు తర్వాత బాగా రాసేవాళ్ళు యూ కెన్ యూస్ మల్టీప్లై యువర్ ఐడియాస్ బై డిస్కసింగ్ విత్ యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ కొలాబరేటివ్గా వర్క్ చేయండి గ్రూప్గా వర్క్ చేయండి టీమ్గా వర్క్ చేయండి అండ్ ఓవరాల్ సో మెసేజ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇయర్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్యానల్ ప్యానలిస్ట్ ఆల్సో సో వర్క్ టుగెదర్ డూ కొలాబరేటివ్ వర్క్ అండ్ షేర్ యువర్ ఐడియాస్ విత్ ఈచ్ అదర్ so that all will together evolve and uh, you can take your teachers support also teachers request and try to give feedbacks vala kavalsina feedbacks isthu undandi ante gaani kotta vishayalu cheppavadam valla ippudu again time ledu maniki 
So, Rasna want to improve Ella Cheskovali and what is missing in them and what is their answer strength. Dean highlight Chesu, Madam Alsa prescription review Chegalit, Analy Chegalite, different all will children good mark, get good marks. Tapakunda, we hope the class 10 students of this year they will come out with good colors and especially English low under maximum marks they should have failures as well minimize I put any as a lunda one so under the manch mark will travel in a shish to we wish you all the best good luck and uh, I thank all the panelists and uh, all the panelists more so spell on the panelist like he second spell on the panelist under good thanks chip to uh, enjoy your exams have a nice time thank you